There we go. Long ago, two races ruled over Earth. Humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. Well, after a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later... Mount Ebbet, year 21X, or 2010X? Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. This scene has no text. Remember to clean up your vines, kids. This is what happens. How you doing, Kappa? Story time. Pronounce it 20x teen. Huh. That's not a bad way to go. I always prefer the year 20xx. You know, classic Mega Man trope. Keeps it valid for, for longer. Alright. I guess we'll start playing a video game now. There's many options and settings, but I don't think any of them matter. Okay, so Z or Enter, Shift... Oh, Z, X, C. I think I can remember that. It's already full screen, so let's go. Name the fallen human. Oh man, I got a name. Okay, we'll go with the classic name. Only one name you can ever use when asked this question in a video game. Yes, Butts is correct. You think I wouldn't do this for someone who actually opted out of Butts Bot, but still, it happens. Okay. So I've got a menu, stats, Butts, level 1, HP 20 to 20, attack 0, XP 0, defense 0, next 10. I have a stick and a bandage and no gold. And sadly, no tea. I've played up through this part, so I know what I'm doing. I was hoping to get some good chance to see audio. Howdy. I'm Flowey. The Flowey the Flower. Flowey the Flower? Hee hee hee. Why'd you make me introduce myself? It's rude to act like you don't know who I am. Someone ought to teach you proper manners. This little old me will have to do. I guess maybe because I already procked this scene once. Ready? Here we go. Oh. Ah, uh, Bart's the... No, that's not what you said. <laughs> See that heart? That is your soul. The evolved very culmination of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but it can grow strong if you gain a lot of love. What's love stand for? Why, love, of course. Oh, I was going to make that joke. If you want some love, don't you? Don't worry, I'll share some with you. That's not creepy. Down here, love is shared through... Little white... Friendliness pellets! Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. I don't think I want that. I've played Demaku before. Hey, buddy, you missed him. Let's try again, okay? Hey. All right, so that actually wasn't wasn't good. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh. Die. Uh, I don't... Can I, uh, I'm, I'm stuck in this box. Oh. Convenient. And the flower just got punted. I can live with that. What a terrible creature, torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, care ca caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. Oh. Yeah, I, I guess that was not the way. I was kind of curious if it would do something different, but I guess not. I think she walked off this way, right? I'm in a box. The shadow of the ruins lo uh, looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Let's save. It never hurts to save. We've been playing for all of 2 minutes and 53 seconds. Oh, it's this song! I've heard this so many times in Mario World. 
Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ooh boy. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Uh, also, is the, uh, the sound levels good? With desktop games, I'm never sure. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Oh. What's this on the wall? Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk. Uh, both walk not the middle road. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Stay on the path. The first switch is over on the wall. Sounds good to you? Alright. Sweet. Thank you, Kappa. Go on. Press the switch on the left. No, no, no. You want to press the other switch. I even labeled it for you. Oh. I'll try three times. Nope. If there's any other dialogue, I am not getting it. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. <laughs> Sub Zucati. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will end in, in, enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Do you need some ideas for conversation topics? Well, I often start with a simple how do you do? You could ask them about their favorite books. Jokes could be useful for breaking the ice. Listen to this one. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? I don't know. What did the skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles! Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. Well, I thought it was amusing. You encounter the dummy. I don't... Um... Item the dummy. Act the dummy. I can act dummy? Spare or flee? Check the dummy? Zero, zero. A cotton heart and a button eye. You are the apple of my eye. Huh. Dummy stands around, absentmindedly. Okay. Talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. Curiel seems happy with you. You won! You earned zero XP and zero gold. Maybe I should have tried to bite it. Oh, my jokes. Very good. You are very good. Oh, I wanted to beat its ass this time. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Mmm. This grass, the, this, uh, these vines look suspicious. Or maybe it's one of these things. We gotta walk and stay in the lines the whole way. Or else it'll electrocute you. It's pretty wiggly. Oh, I keep getting off the path. It shouldn't be that hard. It's also very strange. I still think those vines look suspicious, but Z doesn't seem to want to do anything there. Was that the puzzle? Oh. I have a random encounter. Froggit attacks you. Let's look let's look at the frogget. I'm curious about him. Attack four, death five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Wow. Disapproving gazes work really well. The western room is the end. Uh, is the eastern room's blueprint? Ah, okay. This is the puzzle. But here, take my hand for a moment. It's not much of a puzzle now, is it? Hate that specific frogget. Well, I have to assume it has to do with speedrunning reasons. Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. I mean, I can't even hurt myself on this puzzle. Look at this. What are you gonna do? Next, have me solve some, like, cut out a uh, circle of paper with safety scissors? 
You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Dot, dot, dot. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Alright. This seems like a challenge. It's no climb this ladder, but you know, it's still pretty good. Becoming suspicious that this room loops. Maybe not? No? Dot dot dot. Greetings, my child. Do not worry, I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Thank you, Squiggles. I will, I will keep that in mind in the future. <laughs> I may have to. On Juno, you have to one-shot that frog it, and sometimes the game would say fuck you and does, give you 18 damage or doesn't one-shot doesn't one it. Ah. It's called Unnecessary Tension. That's cute. How you doing, Squiggles? Uh, please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. If you have need for anything, just call. Be good, all right? Uh, yeah, you're right, Squiggles. I kind of dithered upon whether or not that was a good go-live message, but alas. After reset, because level 1 damage output is dog shit. I'm not surprised at that. That's true of most level 1 things. Ring... Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try to solve them yourself. Be good, alright. Quick. How did this frog do? Ribbit, ribbit. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about the battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please... Use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Oh boy, a save point. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. HP fully restored. I spent ten minutes walking through a maze, but not a very big one. Wim... Wim... Sun? Okay. Approached meekly. I want to check him out. Act 5, death 0. This monster is too sensitive to fight. I'm sorry. Oh god. Alright, things we learned. Don't do that. Have mercy. Spare. Yeah, that seemed pretty easy. Curious thing about that frog, it only has 20 HP and the other ones have 30? Huh. I wonder if that was for the purposes of, like, speedrunning. What's this? It's a big donut. Take one. Take a piece of candy. Yes, no. Of course! We took a piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Ooh, I have an item now. Monster candy. Monster candy heals 10 HP, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. When people say things are licorice flavored, they generally mean black licorice, and that's generally unfortunate. Froggit hopped close. Alright, we've already checked out the froggit. Let's compliment him. Didn't understand what you said, but was flattered anyway. Aw. That was like the wussiest attack. He barely leapt at me. If I was gonna do something... Hmm. Right, random encounters are gonna uh, make me less likely to do things. Oh, I guess he didn't want to be spared immediately. I have to compliment him first. Do you know sucks dick to run? Anyway, yeah. I mean, the thing I know about Genocide Run is that, like, the benefit of doing so probably should have done something smarter there, is you get to fight Sans. That's like the thing I know about this game. Um, and if you want to hear Megalovania, I guess that's a way to do it. But that's like the key adva adva advantage. Hmm. That's a hole. Good thing I fell into these conveniently placed leaves. You know, the lesson I should learn here isn't keep trying various holes, it's just walk around it.
He does try. I'll give him credit. It's less of a wussy attack than I thought it was. But I've learned something. Just walk around. Ring. Hello, it's just Oriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Ooh. I think butterscotch. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. I wonder what effect that's going to have on the rest of the game. Hello, this is Doriel. You did not dislike you do not dislike cinnamon, do you? I know what your preference is, but would you turn up your nose if you found uh, it on your plate? Right, right. I understand. Thank you for being patient. By the way, click. All right. Three out of four gray rocks. Recommend you push them. Look at that! I pushed a rock onto a puzzle. Delta Rune, Dev made a lot of uh, changes to accommodate speedrunning, which is something you commend them for since Nintendo removes everything unintended from their games. When they can, they can never take away uh, all of the bugs in Super Mario World. We have them forever because they're in cartridge form. All right. I understand what it's trying to teach me here. Let's see if this thing actually just tells me outright. Please don't step on the leaves. Yeah. I understand what it's trying to teach me now. Okay, I think I can just ignore this thing. Yeah, there we go. At some point, I probably should learn how to actually beat things up. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Oh, right. You don't have to actually do that, but it, you, know, you can do it. I wonder if this is the same way people feel when they're like watching me play Final Fantasy V. Like, oh, it's that music from SMW. Because it doesn't happen that often that I play a game that has uh, a soundtrack that seems sourced and put into SMW that I haven't, like, already played before. So a great number of these tracks, I don't know where they actually came from. There we go. I'm gonna see what it wants me to okay? <laughs> do. Oh, yeah. One of the many. It's no, ten it's no Notengo Dinero. Uh, Super Mario Maker's Conspiracy Revisions Propaganda Sweep Under the Rugs. What a mistake Super Mario World was. Wait, is it gonna combine attacks? No, I just get like twice the fleet of the flies. Interesting. What happens if I mercy now? I mercy half of them. Interesting. Oh, I do miss Tim's, uh, weight screens. They were so good. The Deck of Robo 2 one was, act was, like, legitimately good. Like, he did a really good job of drawing all the things and pixel art. Nintendo Dare, of course, is always a favorite just because that one's hilarious. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay, just for you, Pumpkin. I think Rock is my new favorite character. Oh. Move some more. Alrighty, how's this? <laughs> get back on the path. Well, that was the wrong direction? Okay, I think I got it. Hey. Hmm? You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. I mean, wouldn't you have gotten less of a workout if it just stayed there in the first place? Nice to that thing. Oh god. That wasn't one of my better plans. At all. Thank you, Squiggles. Put my phone over there now. Yes, when Squiggles calls me, it plays no Tango Dinero. 
because Tim released that in a convenient form for putting on one's phone. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. Do you right now? He's not getting the cheese. I'm getting the cheese. And then quite a long time, it's stuck to the table. I'm not getting the cheese. Let's, let's investigate the hole. Is that me? I guess it just plays a little noise, a little rat noise. That looks like a Pac-Man ghost. I guess we have to talk to the Pac-Man ghost. Zzz, zzz, zzz. Are they gone yet? Zzz. This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to be asleep. Move it with force? Nah. Eh. Oh. It's a communist choice. I guess we'll have to push the ghost. I'm not certain how applying a force to a ghost is going to work. Oh, by force! Napstablook. Napstablook? Alright. Let's punch it. First time I've actually tried to use that. Maybe I shouldn't have punched it. Oh. Um, oh, we should check. I never checked him. Attack 10, defense 10. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh. Oh, I'm really funny. Sorry. <laughs> I'm feeling up to it right now. Sorry. Neps, uh, Neps to look. Or Naps tab look? Is staring out into the distance. Let's cheer him up. You gave him a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> oh, they crawl up the walls. Of course they do. Nab step look looks just a little bit better. Let's try one more time. Flirt? Why not? I just weigh you down. Alright, I got hit by the tear. That's fine. Looks a little bit better. Cheer up one more time. Tell them a little joke. He's still not terribly happy about it. Cheering seems to have improved Napstep's look and mood again. One more time. Let's go with one more chair. Wants to show you something. Ooh, let me try. I call it Dapper Book. <laughs> oh, dude, I love that. That's awesome. Eagerly awaits your response. I do. I like it a lot. Oh, gee. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met someone nice. Oh, I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, I liked that guy. He was fun. Hmm, frog that way. And nothing this way. Let's check out the nothing. <laughs> the bloody tears. Spider bake sale. Our proceeds go to real spiders. I'll leave 7G in the web. No? For what? It's a bake sale, right? Am I supposed to get something for this? Alright, fine. I have 16G, so may as well. Some spiders crawled down and gave you a donut. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Alright, let's check this out. Did you miss it? Spider bake sale down to the right. Come eat food made by spiders. For spiders. Of spiders. Ooh. Ribbit, ribbit. Sigh. My friend never listens to me. Whenever I talk, they skip through my words by pressing X. That's right. Pressing X. Well, at least you listen to me. I did in fact listen to you. Ribbit, ribbit. I hear that using F4 can make you have a full screen. Oh, don't I know it. But what does F4 stand for? Four frogs? I have only seen a maximum of three frogs in this room. This is troubling to me. To say the least. Ribbit. What's up, Havaluta? How you doing? Undertale indeed, and yes, spider cannibalism. Still creepy. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster that wears a yellow name when you can spare it. Oh, I did not realize that fact. What did you think of that? Very, it's helpful. Oh, very helpful, it's bad. <laughs> very, it's helpful, bad. Th thank you. Normal English comprehension. It was very helpful. It is rather helpful. Remember, sparring is just saying you won't fight. Sparing, not sparring. Those are different things. Maybe one day you'll have to do it, even if their name isn't yellow. <laughs> You're hopeful, bad. 
I'm imagining like an alignment system with helpful bad, you know, being helpful and bad being like uh, on far ends of the axes. You know, like you've got lawful good up in that right hand corner and helpful bad. Like helpful bad's a bottom left hand corner or something. Ring. Hello. I just realized it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave the room in uh, you want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. What would be the other side of that? We like good would be one axis like unhelpful. So you have like helpful good or helpful bad and unhelpful good. And, yeah, I'm not sure. It needs work. Got to come up with something better there. There's just one switch. I'm pretty sure Nintendo made a lot more than just one. All right, so there's a bunch of potential holes. Mick Migosp, crawled up close. Mold small and Migosp. Oh crap! I didn't want to hurt it. In unison now. I mean, I have such a hard time later in this game. Wait uh, patiently. I don't want to fight it. I talk to it. Sexy wiggle. I don't care. Let's try sparing so he goes away. Swing your arms, baby. Swing your arms from side to side. Come on, it's time to go do the Mario. Doesn't have a care in the world. All right. Let's check him out. Attack 7, death 5. It seems evil, but it's just with the wrong crowd. B and me is the best. I like this attack. I like it a lot. Actively unhelpful, not bad. Yeah, I think that that's the... <laughs> that's probably the better axis. Actively unhelpful is way better than just unhelpful. Hiya! This is a silly fight. Do I, like, have to beat him up? La la, just be yourself. I, I'm gonna try Mercy now, because this, this seems to have gone on a while and he doesn't really want to do anything. Oh, there we go. Alright, there's one switch. At least I know where it is now. Had to make a guess. Oh, what's that? I see an object that I want. Fall in all the pits. Or it's a vegetable. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Let's learn about it. Attack six, defense six, serving size one monster, not monitored by the USDA. Part of a complete breakfast. Vegetoid crackles softly. Or cackles softly. Let's talk to him. Plants can't talk, dummy. I mean, you just did? Vegetoid give a mysterious smile. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat your greens. Ooh. Alright, let's try that again. Kill all the animals. This is a vegetable, though. And what about minerals? Do I have to do anything about minerals? All right, let's try devour. Took a bite out of Vegetoid. You recovered five HP. You won. I mean, I don't think I did. I win. Just be yourself. Are miner their minerals in Metroid? That's a good question, actually. I don't know. Alright, that worked. I'm trying to think, like, if there's any active mineral things. I feel like there's some sort of rock-ish monster, but is it really a rock monster? I don't know. Oh, hey, it's the ghost! I fell down a hole. No, I can't get up. 
Go on without me. Wait, ghosts can fly, can't they? Oh, well. You know, I'm glad I bothered. Luke's Junior. Check out Luke's. Tax six, don't pick on him. Family name, Eyewalker. It's Mike Wazowski. Don't pick on. Finally, someone gets it. It's like it actively took effort to not pick on you. Smells like eye drops. Bye, Mike Wazowski. I mean, there's plenty of minerals in Metro in the sense that most Metroid areas are compri comprised of, like, rocks. They're, like, constantly in caves and stuff. And if you're not in a cave, you're in some sort of, like, spaceship, which is clearly mineral-based. You tried to eat Vegetoid, but it wasn't weakened enough. Darn it. Contains vitamin A. Oh, no. Give him a mysterious smile. Dinner. You pat your stomach. Vegetoid offers a healthy meal. Eat Your Veggies is actually a name of a Commander Keen uh, song. It smells like steamed carrots and peas. I don't like steamed carrots and peas. You could bite out of Vegetoid. You recovered 5 HP, and it's gone. If I can't save them, they're not minerals my body needs. Luke's Eyewalker? Oh, I miss that. You gotta eat your vegetables, it's true. I miss that dumb joke. I miss that joke. It's a switch. Press it. No. The far door is not an exit. It simply marks a rotation in perspective. What? Toby's the king of very bad puns. I would believe it. Your stomach offers a healthy meal. So those Vegetroid fights were basically pointless. Pat your stomach offers a healthy meal. If I get hit, I'll probably devour one of them. But I don't really need to. Wait, what? Oh. I guess Mercy can wear off or something. Cackles softly. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Ah! Menus! Well, good news. I have a way to heal up. Oh, no. It wasn't weakened enough. From locally. Very locally. That garlic looks kind of tasty, though. Dinner. It was almost certain dinner. Something to be said for a fight you can uh, finish up. Oh, I wasn't weakened enough yet. Something you could say for a fight that ends where you can get more HP out of it than you started with. Oh, it's up Terra in case I forgot to say it. Ah, crap, no! Wait, actually, it's perfect. Victory through attrition. If you can read this, press the blue switch. I don't want to fight them. And they're vegetables, so I can run away. I, in fact, remembered that there was a blue switch in that spot in the room, if this was a rotation of perspective. If you can read this, press the red switch. Seems a lot easier than the prior puzzle. Vegetoid came out of the earth. Let's, uh... Pacify this dude first. Oh, just in with a bad group. I understand now. Once you get him alone, he no longer cares. You pat your stomach. Once again. Heed the swarm. Things that could be said if I was playing StarCraft. Okay, so now, eat the vegetable. And then he chills the fuck out. And then I mercy him. Mercy him. I got this. I get this pull. 
Here I thought the whole check thing was just going to give me silly names and stuff, but no, apparently it was actually useful. Okay. So I'm thinking there's got to be a really big twist in this room, otherwise it's going to be quite silly. If you can read this, press the green switch. Is the green switch the one, the green switch one in the middle? Yeah, I, there's no use in fighting these, I assume, unless I want to. I was kind of wondering if there was a hidden sign down to the bottom, but I guess not. It's over here. Frog. Ribbit. Ribbit. Just between you and me. I saw Toriel come out of here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. We're all too intimidated to talk to her. Ribbit. You get gold for fighting? Ah, fair point. You found the toy knife! Hooray! Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's a nice... Nice little pixel art rendition there. Kind of reminds me just because of the colors and, and dithering of, uh, of old CGA games like uh, Arctic Adventure. Because, you know, when all you have is magenta, blue, black, and white, this is, all, this is pretty much the kind of thing you can do. I was watching someone speedrun Monuments of Mars the other day, and so definitely uh, in my mind. Turns out they run on different engines. Never guess that. Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. There's a tree here. Is that where the leaves are coming from? Gotta port some Undertale backgrounds to SMW. Alright. Yeah, not a bad idea. How'd you get here, my child? Are you hurt? Not a scratch. Impressive, but still. I should not have left you alone for so long. It was irresponsible to try and surprise you like this. Er, well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Answers that question. Seeing such a cute, tidy house in the ruins gives you determination. Did you smell that? Surprise! This is a butterscotch cinnamon pie! That does sound kind of tasty, actually. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on the snail on snail pie for tonight. I've had go before, but I don't think I'd want it in pie form. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay, fine. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Aw, head pats. Is something burning? Uh, make yourself it out. Check out this room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kid shoes in dis a disparity of sizes. Light switch rave! Yeah, the music isn't really appropriate for it. Oh. I don't know what I expected, but I suppose I should have made a guess about that. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. There we go. Turn the light back on. Yeah, I was actually thinking about maybe trying to extract the backgrounds from Commander Keen and put them on the SMW Central just for the hell of it. Something to do. Something to do. Read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely! The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. Definitely bigger than a twin-sized bed. It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha. A group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pods, known more commonly as water sausages. <laughs> I didn't cook the water sausage. Why didn't you score the water sausage? It's what the people want. They want the water sausage. <laughs> you peek inside. Scandalous. It's Toriel's sock drawer. Like how she just leaves the pie in the middle of the room. Yeah, putting it on the desk would probably be more in character for, for someone. Inside the drawer are flowers and seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. It's you! Oof. Oh, this is a water sausage. Huh, that's a water sausage. We 
can't learn about that plant. What? There's a weird discontinuity on this mirror. Is that any everywhere? Go over here, does that happen? Oh, huh. I wonder if it's a byproduct of the upscaling. Cut off. I'm gonna put a marker down for that. These books are worn. How do you wear books? They must have been read many times. Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 20... Uh, 20 x It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped beneath the bri uh, barrier and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. Well, that's anticlimactic. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. Oh, I guess it always gives you the same thing. Yeah, it does. Oh, wait, I know how to do this. I press X. Ah, piano keys. I understand now. Up already? I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, do you want something? What is it? Uh, I want to explore some more first before... We're getting on her bad side, I think. Talk to me again if you want anything. For some reason, there is brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. To be fair, you're actually supposed to keep chocolate in the fridge if it's a high quality chocolate, I believe. Um, something about stabilizers in America. European chocolate tends to melt over here. It's kind of depressing. Uh, there is some white fur stuck in the drain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters for gingerbread monsters. Ooh. The size of the pie intimidates you too much to eat it. I don't have this problem. This has taken me completely outside of the game. The stove top is very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. Alright, let's go see what's downstairs. We're gonna get access to a giant place around here. It doesn't, it's not doing that in the scene. Maybe it only happens when it scrolls. I think you should play upstairs instead. All right, well, we're at the Communist Choice time. Actually, can I leave? What happens if I do this? I can save. Okay, that's an option. Man, I'm really glad that Frog told me how this works. No, I'm allowed to leave this way, but there's nothing this way. At least no, nothing I can get to that's meaningful that way, I don't think. All right, well, time to go crush your hopes and dreams. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 42, 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Here is an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. What is it? I have to say this now. I have to do something. Stay here. Seems like the right size for Toriel. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You could put your hand inside. I'm gonna wander off. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Now, that sounds awesome. I want to see that. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. Then a naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. What if I did? Do I get, like, a, a bad ending if I decide to just go go to bed? If I go to bed? Or... I bet you delays doing this if I do that. Like, if I go to bed, 
I bet she doesn't do this. And I'm kind of curious to see what happens. Like, my assumption about Toby Fox is he's a clever guy and generally is going to make good assumptions about what players will do. And then at Hack Tradition. So, we're going to try this. Go to bed. Ascor sounds mean and scary. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think it's the kind of kind of thing you want to mess with. Reminds me of uh, a time when we were doing the, at the MIT Mystery Hunt, and uh, we had to do an interaction to get a puzzle answer, and they liked the fact that we managed to get everybody in the room to do the Gangnam style thing back when that was still culturally relevant. And, uh, <laughs> and the person from uh, Puzzle HQ said, oh, wow, that was so nice. I feel almost bad to give you out, to give you this answer. Your answer is, I kid you not, rectal bleeding. It was important for a puzzle, but I couldn't tell you how. Do not stop me. This is your final warning. So I guess there wasn't an option to stop her, or to not to not have her do this by going to bed. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove yourself to me you are strong enough to survive. I should have equipped a damn knife. I should have equipped the damn knife. This attack is lasting a lot longer than I was expecting. Looks through you. Let's check her out. Attack 80, death 80, knows the best for you. Oreo prepares a magical attack. Let's talk for a sec. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. All right, I guess I gotta kick her ass. That wasn't that much damage. Oh god, I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm so bad at periodic motion. Uh, let's go with the monster candy. Well, oh, that could have gone worse. I'm bad at avoiding the magical donuts. Toriel looks through you. I have to heal every other turn. I'm, I'm already fucked. Try the spider donut. You ate the spider donut. You recovered 12 HP. Last time that attack ended once they did a dive. Definitely misread that. Okay, I got that one. Almost got that one down. This is different. Alright, my plan didn't quite work. He's acting aloof. Oh god, the periodic way. Oh no, they actually swing all the way the way out, all the way out, okay. Looks through you. Alright, time to eat the pie. I keep assuming that the particles will act in a in a certain manner, and I am just wrong. Maybe, maybe right here? Yeah, that worked. I keep getting lucky with that, at least. I'm slowly learning. Slowly. looks through you. I really don't have a choice. I have no more healing. Like, I actually, uh, this is go time. Said the man who immediately died. Alright. Game over. Well, that was fun. You cannot give up just yet. But stay determined. Yep, it happens. Um, when did I last save? Yeah, I need to do this part again. Oh, absolutely not. Congratulations, you died. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. I have something to do something, stay over there. Okay, there we go. I will actually skip that, this part, by saving again. Lol, you died. Lol, lol, you died. That's one of my favorite death things ever.
You truly feel like you deserved death when you play Bashi. Even if, you know, you didn't actually... I rem remembered to equip the toy knife this time. How does it compare, actually? I have now have an attack of three instead of zero. Yeah, that was important. Nobody picked up. I never actually tried the cell phone thing before. I kind of figured it wouldn't do anything now, but I had to try. You want to leave so badly? Yep, I do. All right, this time we are not wasting a turn doing things like checking. We are just going to kick ass. I think with the resources I have, I can successfully... Unsuccessfully kick ass. I'm so bad at the, this one. I'm like already dead. I did better last time. Right, prepares a spell. I'm not doing that. Crunch. Give, 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 give me these. I'm better at these. There's a magical attack. There's a good chance I just die. Woo! Dead center! Oh, never mind. It's this. Yeah, that one's like the easiest one. Takes a deep breath. Oh, it's going down. Just staying in the icicle fall range is the right thing to do there. There's a magic spell. Spider donut time! And pray that she doesn't use this attack repeatedly. You know, the one I can't actually dodge. I am so screwed for later. Okay, now the, the two frogs attack oh, is a lot easier to dodge if I don't mess up. Probably should have healed instead, actually, now that I think about it. Feeling I'm gonna be doing this at least one more time. Come on, do the frog thing. Nope. I'm certain there's a smarter way than trying to be reactive. And I'm not sure what it is yet. Oh shoot. What? Oh, okay. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Aw, Asgore. Do not let Asgore take your soul. Oh, that happens. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. More dots. Be good. Won't you? My child. And she evaporates. Aww. Oh. Well, that sucks. Nice particle effect, though. All right. Well, that was a thing that happened. Is the floor becoming more purple over time? It definitely is. You know Tori was a one-shot, but you didn't know you had to mash to get it? Is that what I did? I thought I just fucked up. Oh, look, it's the flower again. I hope you like your choice. After all, it's not as if you can go back and change fate. In this world, it's kill or be killed. That old hag thought she could break the rules. She tried so hard to save you humans. But when it came down to it, she couldn't even save herself. What an idiot. It's 
kind of like a giant boot to fall on it, but I guess that doesn't happen yet. Yeah, I did a ridiculous amount of damage. Like, I was not expecting that. I was completely shocked. I figured I'd have to, like, nickel and dime her down for quite some time. I think I did. I think I did. Oh, well, she didn't seem to want to talk. I tried that a couple times. Like, the problem with this is, like, I can approach it as if I know nothing. I know you can defeat her without beating her up, but I don't know how. And even so, if I'm playing with my natural instincts for this sort of thing, it's not the thing I would do. So. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Take it with you. Cameras have high resale value. This is kind of what it sounds like when your ear is doing that really irritating thing. That's a cold-blooded killer. It does happen sometimes. You would not believe the number of Marios I've killed. And I could actually look that up if you want to know. Actually, how long would it take me to look that up? Just a SQL query. This force has been poured in SMW. I must not have heard it. That silhouette looks familiar. Human, don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. Okay. Oh, huh, that works. Oh, look, it's Sans. I know Sans from Super Mario or <laughs> Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Yeah, the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. I didn't even... Oh, crap. I pressed the Windows button. That's the worst trick. That's the first time I've done that. It took me an hour to do that. I'm actually kind of impressed. It's always fun. Anyway, you're human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans a skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus... He's a human hunting fanatic, and yes, I already realized the, the gimmick here. That is Comic Sans, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, actually, I think you're, uh, I mean, that's not Comic Sans, but it's still Sans Serif. I'm pretty sure. I don't know much about fonts now, I think about it. Oh, uh, that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thing. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. <laughs> that, that is kind of silly, actually. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. <laughs> Sup, bro? You know what? Sup, bro? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. Other words starting with R. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower with kisses every morning. That doesn't sound like a good way to get clean. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, <laughs> you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton? Ah. Oh. oh. Sans. Sans is actually Comic Sans. His entire... Oh. That makes too much sense. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. Sorry. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much to just get some recognition? Wow. Sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone! Uh, yuck. Ugh. I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. Yeah, yeah. Kind of would have liked it if it zoomed in on him and didn't play the, the, the drum kick. Okay, you can come out now. Literally lamp shading. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. I guess I'm never going to be able to pull that trick off again. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, 
you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. That is an incentive to leave if I've ever heard one. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. So it's a it's a hot dog stand. Hey, actually, hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. Well, good, a save point. The convenience of the lamp fills you with determination. The genie of the convenient lamp. This is a box. You could put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Yes! I'm gonna take the tough glove and leave the stick. No, I'm gonna take the stick with me. Let's see what the tough glove is. Also, I think I gained a lot of levels by beating up Goat Mom. You equip the tough glove. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that much. So I now have a weapon that is a tough glove. Right. Oh my, that's a snow drake. Should I use my tough glove? No, I'll check it out first. Snow drake, 12 and 7. This team comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Chill out, bro. You know, I kind of expected that I might just be able to get away with not moving. Snowdrick realizes his own name is a pun and is freaking out. Heckle. You boo the Snowdrake. This won't be funny either. Use the cell phone? Alright, I'll try that. I get the feeling it's probably not going to end well for me, but I had to try it. Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Joke! You make a bad ice pun. Haha. Ice try! I love how the box keeps randomly resizing. Snowdrake is smiling at his own bad joke. Make one more joke. Make a bad ice plan. Alright, so it's the snakes one again. I think it's only the fourth one that's dangerous. It smells like a wet pillow. Laugh. How about laughing? <laughs> you laugh at it before it says anything funny. <laughs> that wasn't the way, I don't think. Snowdrake is assessing the crowd. Right, let's go back to heckling. You tell the Snowdrake that no one will ever love them the way they are. Oh! They struggle to make a retort and slink away, utterly crushed. I won! I don't feel like a winner, but I won. Alright, let's try the cell phone. But nobody came. That probably would have had more of an effect if I'd used the cell phone before. Like, I wasn't expecting her to do anything because she was dead. Oh no! So as I was saying about Undine... I hate Undine so much. You won, but at what cost? Uh... Oh my god, is that... a human? Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! And Dean will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 Ahem. Human! You shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue. Only if you dare. Yeah, 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 yeah. Him and Bowyer get along just fine. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I didn't do the zoom in thing again. Oh, hey, fishing. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Of course. All it's attached to the other end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decide not to call. What? I want the number, though. No, no, not that again. What is the... You send the line back out. Does it change? No, 
all it's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. I... Plenty of fish in the sea, I guess. So we'll leave it out. Maybe one day that monster will find the fish that it wants to love. I still keep feeling like I'm missing a run button. Ice cap. Struggles into... Uh, struts into view, not struggles into... Oh, no, I don't want to... Where's your hat? That's a good question. Oh, God. It's sinusoidal. It's snowing dandruff. Ew. Ice cap. Attack 11. Defense 4. This teen wonders why he isn't named Ice Hat. What a great hat. Mine. This guy would definitely love TF2. Ice cap also wants a hat. Cap for its nose. Steal. I want its hat. Oh, God, do I want its hat. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. But it's not weakened enough. Oh, I'm totally stealing its hat. I am totally stealing its hat. There is no way I'm not stealing its hat now. I want that hat. Let's give it a compliment. Uniform Ice Cap, it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad! Of course they fall back down. Let's think about a certain article of clothing. Possibly a hat. Ignore. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. I want the hat, though. We gotta get the hat. This guy was secretly checking out his hat. Tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but nope. Alright, it's time to actually kick his ass to get his hat. Oh, I have to mash? This is weird. Okay. Where's your hat? So what, you do more damage if you hit it more than once? See if you're checking out if it's looking at his hat. Yeah, of course I'm looking at his hat. Oh my, I didn't want to beat him up. I just wanted his hat. He didn't even drop his hat. Well, you know what I'm doing now. I'm getting that damn hat. No, I don't care about you. You don't have a hat. Huh. Pleasantly stacked trees. Alright, here we go. That's pretty weak. Where's your hat? Alright. You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat. And succeeded! It melts in your hands. So cold. It smells like frozen despair. <laughs> Compliment the ice. You could form ice that it still looks fine. Hats are for posers. Ice doesn't mind its identity. I guess I'll spare it. <laughs> that was just sad. <laughs> and I didn't get a hat after all that. I really wanted a hat. It's not worth fighting you because I, I can't get the hat. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous Royal Guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous Royal Guardsman. More things should have their own narration on them. I appreciate that. Absolutely no moving. Okay. Nah, I'm bored. Well, let me guess, he's a watchdog. Did something move? Was it my imagination? Was it the dang Windows key? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Oh. Doggo blocks the way. Check. Doggo, attack 13. Defense 7. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Here's my, here's my intuition about this. Yep, I was right. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet! I like the wand. <laughs> that turns into now. <laughs> Doggo has been pet. Uh, 
Minor trivia that pretty much everyone here knows. In, J in Japan, small dogs don't go bark bark or yip yip. They go wah wah. So there you go. Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Can I steal it? Why would I ring the bell? I didn't realize that was a bell. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Alright, problem solved. Someone's been smoking dog treats. I don't think you smoke dog treats. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. <laughs> Remember, blue stop signs. Oh, it's time for one of these! Everyone's favorite type of puzzle, the one-way ice puzzle. North ice, south ice, west ice, east Snowden Town, and ice. I choose north. Ooh, look, a snowman. Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Sure. Thank you, good luck. You got the snowman's piece. Which piece? Like, did he give me a gun? Can I equip this thing? You- Oh no! <laughs> Let's try that again. Did you just consume part of me I'd given to you? In front of my very eyes, I have no words for you. Be gone. The stakes were- I thought it might do something different! I'm gonna assume that this guy's not gonna ever be happy with me again. I shouldn't have given myself away so easily. Oh boy. I'm probably gonna regret that at some point. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh no, no, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of the maze, this orb will administer a hearty shock. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you ha ha probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. What? Oh, he's the one touching the orb. <laughs> Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's kind of what- oh. That, that's even lamer than I was expecting. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. I really thought I could just- I would end up just walking around the big square, but no, that works. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it. So easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans, and you will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I said, Bowyer and him and have a good time together. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? I, is he serious? Hey, it's Otdog Stan. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer. Would you like some uh, nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Just now, uh, nah, just 15. All right, I'll take 15, sure. Or I'll take it for 15. Here you go, have a super nice day. Super duper day, you got the nice cream. I wonder if that's a reference to uh, one of Andrew Hussey, the, the uh, Homestuck guys, earlier car uh, comics. There, where there is, in fact, a nice cream man. I'll talk to Sans first. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? Just 5G. Sure. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Fine. Really? How about 500? 5,000? No. I have to pay for the raw material somehow. How high would he go? Definitely buy it. But you don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you actually farm enough money early in the game to get that. Okay, there's clearly a puzzle here. It's gonna bug me unless I solve it. 
but I don't have any impetus to solve it yet. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow dodecahedron. It's a good approximation of a snowball if you need one. Like, clearly the game wants me to do this. I have to do this. Man, I am not good at dive grass. Oh no, it's shrinking! Oh, I understand now. It's a timed puzzle. My dodecahedron has gotten a little too small. Yeah, it's gone now. It says he can't sell it because of sentimental value. <laughs> thank you, Hawaluta. Or thank you, uh, Sagati, for knowing. Your name colors aren't even close. What am I doing? Not successfully kicking this ball, either. I always appreciate when devs actually let you do that kind of thing. Like, I think so in uh, Breath of Fire, there's up that you could actually buy for an absurd amount of money. And uh, you, if you earn the money, it will actually let you buy it. But otherwise, they just expect you to trade a gold bar for it. Friggin' Snowball. I probably should wait for another one. Never goes the way I want it to. I think being kicked around constantly on the snow would cause it to become bigger, but no, it just gets smaller. Oh, wait, wait, hold up. It worked! I won! What'd I win? Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. I'm gonna guess that I would have been awarded a lot more if it had taken me fewer strokes or less time. Secret of Evermore is the one with the trading expensive item? Ah, thank you. I want to say Breath of Fire also has one, but I don't know if it's that extreme. Arc streamer. Uh, human, I hope you're ready for. Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Okay, lost your kid's word search. I see. Hey kids, can you help me solve the puzzle? All right, well, Giga Flip and Blurper is the top row. We figured that out. Um, let's see if I can find any other ones. I'm good for Monster Fall. These tend to be not that hard. I found Monster, it's in the middle there. Is there like a way to highlight things? Can I like... Use the mouse. Monster? No. Pushing buttons, does that help? No. So I don't like print this out to solve it if I wanted to solve it. I'm disappointed. Hey, ki fellow kids. Oh, that is painful, I see now. All right, well, let's see. Fall. Already busted out the mouse pointer for this. Usually I do this by looking for, like, two L's that are contiguous somewhere in the board. But it's probably diagonal, if I had to make a guess, since short ones are usually easy to find. Sig cigars. You don't do this. Like, prefix ones. There's sig right there. I found that. Found hot. All right, we'll start from the bottom, then. Uh, cigars is here. Let's see, robot. Robot. How many R's in this board, actually? Nope. Nope. Oh, there it is. Robot right there. That's easy. Let's see, mermaid. M. Mer. Okay, that's close. Oh, there it is. Mermaid. It's backwards. Skeletons. Usually because they don't have a re reasonable number. There it is. Skeletons is backwards right here. Uh, we found monster. That was easy. Summer. Summer. Hmm. Two M's there, but they're not good enough M's. There it is. Summer. I just gotta find spring and fall and winter, and then we're all set. Spring. Nope. Nope. Oh, spring right there. Dang, all right. Uh, let's see where else. We gotta do winter now. There's probably like one W. Yep, winter. And then fucking fall. F-A-L-L. -L. There we go. We found all of the things. I can leave now. Sans, the human is escaping. You made the puzzle too hard. Hey, you, get back here. 
Oh, I have to I have to do the puzzle. I'll move the mouse cursor. We're done with that. Sands! That didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I should have used today's cross should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that, in my opinion. Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really? Dude, that's easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumble or crossword? Man, I want to agree with the moron, but I also want to be honest. It's a puzzle. I gotta go with the jumble. Ha! Ha! Yes. Humans must be very intelligent. If they also find junior jumble so difficult. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I do find anagram anagramming harder than uh, crossword puzzling at times, though. Thanks for saying Junior Jumble just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> That's your horoscope for today. Do, 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 do. All right, I want one more shot at this. No, I, I thought I hit that straight down. All right, that's to that. Let's go see what the top path has. Oh. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. His. Hers. All right. I should have just come up there earlier. I thought tooling around the places I was at was a, a smarter move than going forward, but apparently just go forward. Green, it says in red. Yep. Knowing the mouse might one day find his way to heat up the spaghetti. It fills you with determination. I feel like we've kind of gone to surreal land here. It's enough for papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed by the great papyrus. Yeah, yeah, papyrus. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. His dogs are colorblind. Uh, okay. That's reasonable. Warning, dog marriage. I have to progress, I guess. Eh? Ow. Then a awesome lesser dog appears. Pet better be an option. I will check him first. Lesser dog. 12, 2. Wields a stone dogger made of palmer. Oh, palmer granite. Uh, ant pant. All right. Lesser dog cocks its head to one side. Pet. You barely lift your hand and lesser dog got excited. Tiny bark. Womp. Oh. Note to self, be more careful about that. I provide dog with mercy. Zero HP and zero gold. Or XP and gold. What the heck? I think I'm making this better. Oh, this is a diagram of the spot I'm at. In between these rocks up there, there's an X. Okay. Or a tree, I guess. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Click. I mean, it did seem kind of obvious looking at it now, as opposed to using the hint down here. Oh, no. Those are some scary looking doggos. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. Hmm. Here's that weird smell. Third Windows button press. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you.
doggy assault you. Okay. Dog me and do dog me and dogressa. Fourteen five. Husband of dogressa knows only what he smells. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? All right. The dogs keep shifting their axes to protect protect each other. Dogressa. Fourteen five. This puppy finds her hubby, hubby lovely. Smells only? Don't touch my hot dog. He means me. Oh, God. The dogs are reevaluating your smell. Pet! The dogs are too suspicious of your smell. Paws off, you smelly human. That's not your husband, okay? Alright, blue ones. Dogs keep shifting their axes to protect each other. Uh, roll around? You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Take my wife! Please. Don't, actually. Please don't be the double axe attack again. Oh, for Pete's sake. The dogs may want to resmell you. The dogs sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell alright. What? It smells like... Actually, are you a little puppy? I think I figured out the double axe attack by now. The dogs think you may be a lost puppy. Uh, pet? You pet dog me. Wow, pet by another pup. Hey, don't leave me out. Axe attack is a really tough one, especially for when the game it appears. Yeah. Can we try Mercy? Let's kick human tail. Never mind. Yeah, especially compared to this attack, where you have a lot of space to, to work, the axe attack is really constrictive. Pet the dog, Ressa. Dog that pets dogs. Amazing. What about me? Would you believe I learned about the blue thing from Morton's Empire? You literally just have to press down a direction, which is not what I was expecting or understood yet. There we go. I won. 40 golds. Dog can pet other dogs? A new, whole new world has opened up. Thanks, weird puppy. I will henceforth refer to the protagonist as weird puppy. Turn every X into an O and then press the switch. Hmm. Let's figure out. Yeah, mechanically it was really easy once. Oh. Once I actually knew what I was doing. Um, but just by looking at him because of the movement in tandem, I was easily confused. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I uh, I ate it. Really? Wowie, no one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not, human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. <laughs> Don't know if Weird Puppy wants that. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. <laughs> sock collection. Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different, and, as per usual, my lazy brother is nowhere to be found. I suppose what I'm saying is, worry not, human! I, the great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. So, you want a hint? Huh? Well, I've been looking at this puzzle, and I think the solution is to turn all the X's into O's. You should try that. <laughs> Ask again for more great hints. Okay, this is actually a bit more tricky than I was expecting. This is a constraint. Well, I guess because it, once it's a triangle, it's stuck. So I can't do that. 
I can only ever traverse across any given tile once. I actually think... Wait. No, the, the, the key here is that the puzzle is not entirely enclosed. That's the key to the whole thing. So I do this. And then tap that. Tap that. And done. That was easy. Wow, you solved it. My advice helped. It really helped you. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must not care about you must care about puzzles like I do. It's true. Now I'm sure you love the next puzzle then. It might be even be too easy for you. Yeah. Hey hey. Hey hey hey. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Puzzle levels, indeed. How you doing, Space Clam? Oh no. The puzzle of the deadly mosaic. Hey, it's the human. You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alfies. If you see these tiles, once I throw the switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented, okay? And make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like. But if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. <laughs> what was that? Understand? Understand the explanation? Of course! I'll remember all that. Great, and there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle. It has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah, <laughs> get ready. You took notes for this part? Oh my. <laughs> Nodders remembers this. How you doing, Foggy? <laughs> this is a, that's pretty much what I expected to happen. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother since he started cooking lessons. He's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps that I don't know, next year, he'll even make something edible. The machine isn't working. <laughs> you got the most out of those notes. Uh, oh my. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. That's how it works. Knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. On the floor inside is a box of Prama raisins. Aware of dog. Please pet dog. Can I do... Can I help with the art thing? Nope. Nope. Nope, can't help with art. Back to Riverdance guy. The dog considers itself an artist, but doesn't ever know what to create. It probably doesn't help that its brain is the size of a piece of kibble. You can actually use the rules for something? Oh no, that's terrifying. Crap. It's a lump of snow with the word sands written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Okay, that's kind of cute. Okay. This, I think, requires a little bit of thought. But I think the first move is to do this. Go around the outside, because I think it's going to always be easier to go inside. In fact, anytime there's two, it means that I should come from the opposite direction and go in. Yeah, this is easy. It's just a spiral with a funky semantic. Snow Papyrus versus Gold Birdly? Who would win? I don't know who Birdly is yet. And the screen is now just a mass of logs. <laughs> oh no, it, it's it's ice. Random snow. I don't think I get another snow dog, am I? Nope. 
Let's see what's to the right. Hmm. What a tidy dog house. A tiny dog house. Woof. It's a snow poff. Poof. And this is a snow poof. And this, however, is a snow poff. And that wasn't. That was a dog. From Deltarune? Ah, okay. I heard that uh, apparently the third chapter, oh my, uh, has come out. I wasn't expecting a greater dog. Gotta check out the greater dog. 15-8, it's so excited that it thinks fighting is just play. I've definitely heard this song somewhere else. Uh, pet? Greater dog is too far away to pet. You just pet the air. I got barked. He arranged the letters in Delta Rune, it spells do a midair. Uh huh, yeah, I, I'm not sure that's true, Space Clam. I like the idea, but I'm not sure it's true, namely because do a midair doesn't have a U in it. Um, watching me intently. Beckon? You call the greater dog. It bounds towards you. Fucking slobber onto your face. There we go. Ow. Greater dog is seeking affection. There we go. We'll pet the dog now. Curls up in your lap as it's pet by you. It gets so comfortable it falls asleep. Zzz. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. <laughs> oh. Right, blue. Greater dog is patting the ground with its front paws. I think we need to play. You make a snowball and throw it for the dog to fetch. It splats on the ground. Greater dog picks up all the snow in the area and brings it to you. Now dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Greater dog wants some TLC. There we go. We'll, we'll pet now. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight onto you. Your movement's slow, but you still haven't pet enough. Oh. Man, I get my ass kicked by bark. Dog capacity is... Or pet is at 40%. Okay, so I need more pet. You pet decisively. Pet capacity reaches 100%. The dog flops over with its legs hanging in the air. Need to bait the barks. Inner dog is content. You won! You earned 40 golds. Aww. <laughs> well, there was a path I didn't take yet. I'm going to go that way. Surprisingly, it's a snow puff. Puff. What's down here? The hills have eyes. Well, that's terrifying. Oh, there's a dog in there. Huh. Maybe I should have taken the other path first. It's a door. Maybe I should take the other path first. It's still a door. Interesting. There's probably some combination that need to be turned on, and I don't want to do all of them. Sleeping dog bark attack. It, it's This game has been endearing so far. There's a lot of cute silliness. I can see why this game is so well regarded. Though I must confess that the character reminds me a lot of Chucky for some reason, as in the murderous doll. Which just might be the, like, striped shirt. Or sorry, the... Oh crap, what was I gonna call the... I forgot what the, the dogs called me, dang it. Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. That is a lot of deadly terror. When I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. Well, what's the holdup? <laughs> I 
When you played Mist as a kid, you wouldn't look for clues. You just tried to brute force everything. Oh my. Yeah, you wouldn't get very far in Mist with just brute force alone. You really need to know some things. Also spells you're a dental. Hold up. What's the hold up? I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems, may be too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards, after all. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct. No class at all. Away it goes. Hugh. What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah, that background's actually really nice. I wonder if you could do that one in uh, in two bits per pixel. Could be a good layer three background. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Oh, it doesn't have any thing. Welcome to Snowden Town. It clearly doesn't say that. But Neo is a snowman's head, so I can I can forgive it. Papyrus wins by doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> the sight of a friendly town fills you with determination. Let's save after 93 minutes. Here's the box that has mostly nothing in it. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Huh? Sell some? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. Fair point. Let's talk to the rabbit. Say hello. Hiya. Welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where did you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? You want to know what to do here in Snowden? Robies has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. Oh, those wacky skeletons. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. They just showed up one day and asserted themselves. The town has gotten... Gotten a lot more interesting since then. Where'd you go? Where'd you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Oh, man. I'm... I still think of Cotton Eye Yopi every once in a while. That level was something. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door's been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. You know, to self become a ghost. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles day after day. Life's a that's life, ain't it? All right, well, that was an interesting interlude. <clears throat> so I have a tough glove. Not one sec. There's been a lot of talking. All right. I think the manly bandana probably is the best value for money right now. And I think 11x2 is probably m more of what I want than the 22 right now. I guess actually, you know, why one? All right. Six out of ten. I'm fine with that. Uh, still can't sell stuff. We can exit now. There we go. And since I can't save... Since I can't sell shit, let's get rid of the toy knife and the stick because they aren't useful to me now. So we'll equip this. Manly bandana. I feel manlier already. That's actually a huge improvement to my defense. I think. And let's ditch the... the used bandage. Because sure, I don't want to keep... I want to keep that in my box. Go to the inn. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? 
Welcome to the Snowed Inn. Oh, Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80, 80 G. Oh no, I'm good. Well, feel free to come back anytime. That's stuck on the door. I wanted to read the sign first. I appreciate the fast travel, but... Don't want to walk to the other side of town? Try the under snow tunnels. They are efficiently laid out. That lady over there. Something about her disturbs me. Isn't my life little cinnamon just the cutest? Mud muns are so adorable. Tee hee. Awful teens tormented a local monster by decorating its tree-like horns. Oh, so we started giving that monster presents to make it feel better. Now it's a tradition to put presents underneath a decorated tree. This reminds me, bizarrely enough, of, like, Parappa, where you've got all of these creatures that are different, and somehow it makes sense. Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell, because you're wearing a striped shirt. Oh, that's how you tell in this world. Rabbit with a pet rabbit. Yeah, that's a little weird, I'm not going to deny. This town doesn't have a mayor. But there's ever a problem. A skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! I wish I could argue. Oh my. The jukebox is broken. Oh. Talk to the, the drunk rabbit first. No matter where I go, it's the same menu, the same people. Help! I want new drinks and... Hot guys! Hmm. Isn't human food different from monster food? It does things like spoil. When you eat it, it passes all the way through your whole body. Disgusting. I'd love to try it sometime. Oh, here's the dogs. We're sentries. But we never get any respect. I wish those skeletons would throw us a bone. Hey oh, we love bones. I like that. I'm thinking of getting a spiked collar to show off my personality. It makes a statement like, attach a leash to me and take me for a walk, please. I believe this is the Frasier of dogs. It's playing poker against itself. It appears to be losing. I put out a line for some girls today. Oh, someone told me there were plenty of fish in the sea. Well, I'm taking that seriously. I'm literally going to make out with a fish. That's a statement there, ain't it? Those dogs are part of the Royal Guard, the elite military group led by Undine. She's rude, loud, and beats up everybody who gets in her way. It's no wonder all the kids want to be like her when they grow up. Da 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 da. Rubes said he'd offer you a glass of water, but he doesn't touch the stuff. Fair enough. Fish fart in it. The capital's getting pretty crowded. I heard they're going to start moving there. Uh, I don't want to see the erasure of our local culture. But I definitely want to see some city slickers slip on their butts. This is a weird episode of Frasier. Eh, you know, they tend to get a little strange. Everyone is always laughing and cracking jokes, trying to forget our modern crises. Dreariness, crowding, lack of sunlight. I would join them, but I'm just not very funny. I mean, to be fair, that is pretty funny, having a gigantic scarf on a tiny rat. Tiny mouse? Maybe some other sort of, like, marsupial creature? We all know the underground has problems, but we smile anyway. Why? We can't do anything about it. So why be morose about it? Ooh, a library! I'm gonna spend so much time here! Welcome to the library. Yes, we know. The sign is misspelled. I, you know, I didn't notice it was li like Barbie. I feel dumb now. It's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When a monster gets old, when monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on the person's favorite thing. Then their essence will live on that thing forever. Uh, I'm at the page minimum yet. I'm kind of sick of writing this. I definitely did that as a kid. While monsters are mostly made of magic, human beings are made of mostly water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, actually. Here I am, writing this book. A person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry, I'm still writing that one. <laughs> I just realized the rhinoceros lady was talking. Because they are made of magic, monsters' bodies are attuned to their soul. 
If a monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. And the crueler intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul struck with desire to kill... Um, let's end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4! Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We have harsh cold, damp swampland, searing heat, until we reached what is we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names. 16 point font, triple spaced, you know it. Gotta increase the margins too. Love, hope, compassion, this is what people say monster souls are made of. But the absolute nature of soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Cough, cough. When I was younger, my teachers gave me a weird word searches when they ran out of assignments. Yep. I thought they were a waste of time. But look at me now! I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. Ah, okay. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. Aw oh, man, I, I want their newspaper. That look in your eye. You're someone that has difficulty solving Junior Jumble, aren't you? <laughs> well, that, uh, Mike Wazowski's got my name. Definitely knows that. It's a mailbox <clears throat> overflowing with unread junk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Yes. It's empty. <laughs> Alright, so there's three exits that are obvious. Two exits that are obvious, I guess. It's locked from the inside. Dang it. It's locked. Alright. I want to go north to start with. I guess when it comes down to it, I'm naturally following sort of a left-hand rule. Reject alphabet, learn wingdings. Oh no. What a beautiful knock. Me, if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, my patience rewards me. Ah. Ah. Wingdings, you prefer Aster? I mean, if I'm gonna have a, you know... What? Why don't you just make a longer conveyor belt? Dude, once they make another length of conveyor belt, your job is going to be over. Maybe it's an exercise machine? But then why bother with the conveyor belt? Why don't you just move the whole thing to the right a bit? Hmm. The world may never know. Also, I just noticed this. Let's play monsters and humans. What is that? It's got a hat. I wish I could seal its hat, though. Darn conveyor belt's taking our jobs. Ring, ring. Hello. Can I speak to G? Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number. The wrong number song. We're very... <laughs> that we got it wrong. It's the wrong number. That's the wrong number song. I'm very sorry that we got it wrong. <laughs> Click. <laughs> uh, okay. That's the thing that happened. Monsters and humans. It's your favorite game after mazes and monsters. Uh, reminds me of the very, very sorry song from Calvin and Hobbes. Sorry, so very sorry, we took your precious flag. I get the feeling it's getting colder the further I walk over here. Oh wait, I can't, uh, nope, I, I can't stop. It only shows up in... 50% of runs. If you go to the play playthroughs, if you go to the right screen at the right time, huh, I feel lucky. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle-solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No, no, this is all wrong. I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks the way. Check him out. 
2020. He likes to say, yeah, ha, ha. I, I knew that already. Huh. Okay. Due to getting a randomly assigned number that has a range, and if you're in that range, you get the wrong number song and other stuff. Oh, interesting. Papyrus. Flirt. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess that means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. I like this attack. Oh, sorry. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no. Let's date later, after I- oh, right, after I capture you, so that's not gonna work. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook for his date. You flirt, but to no avail. Seems acting won't escalate this battle. Alright, fine. I have to kick his ass. Oh, dabs some bone. Cologne behind his ear. So you're serious. Well, let's see if you can handle my fateful blue attack. Okay. Oh. That's different. You're blue now. That's my attack. Yeah. <laughs> You're blue now. Oh, I wonder what I should wear. Sudden platformer. I like this. I'm better at platforming than bullet hell. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy Cream behind his ear. Is that? What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. Trail that intensifies. Indeed. Ah, uh, don't make me use my special attack. Papyrus dabs MTT brand cute juice behind his ear. You cute juice. Can almost taste my future popularity. Popularity isn't something you eat, like Lunar Magic. Attraction Slime behind his ear. Ugh. I don't even know what MTT stands for in this context. Papyrus, head of the Royal Guard! I've seen that one before. Papyr uh, Betty Beauty Yogurt. Ugh. And <laughs> Papyrus, unparalle unparalleled spaghetti tour. Shoot. Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. I'm glad he figured out after a while. Re grab time. Undine will be really proud of me. Oh, I really misread that. Papyrus is trying really hard to play it cool. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Really glad I bought that item. My brother, well, he won't change much. Oh god. Let my hand off the keyboard for a second there. Why didn't I get hit the second time around? Papyrus is trying hard to uh, play it cool. Sometimes it's a good first half. 
of a lot of admirers, but... Papyrus is considering his options. I think I might heal next. Will anyone like me as sincerely as you? Hey. Papyrus is cackling. Um. Oh, bicycle, I get it now. Oh man, I was dumb earlier. You want half of the bicycle. Now I just have a sickle. Someone like you is really rare. Someone like you is really medium, Papyrus. Not. It's not. How did it go? It's. Uh, it's not well done, and it's certainly not rare. Behold my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack. Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone. Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just have to use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting ready for a regular attack. Yeah, probably invincibility frames. I just thought they'd run out before I landed. Use an absolutely normal attack! Yeah. I'm glad I healed. <laughs> no! Cool, dude. <laughs> Bone on a skateboard. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Wait a second. Something silly is gonna happen with that bone. Is it? Nope. Nothing. Huh. It's clear you can't defeat me. Yeah. I see you shaking in your boots. Therefore I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Fine. Nya ho ho! I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undine's gonna be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Qualit Quantity will remain stagnant. What did you say? Fine. Why can't we be friends? Really? You want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowie, I even had a, I haven't even got on our first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. Who <laughs> knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? It's true, that's how I got most of my good friends. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping us underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul. Like you! That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power! And then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Hudemir, <laughs> can I please go home? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come and have that go by and have that date. Yeah. How else do you get friends? Valid question. Make puzzles, levels to get friends. Make friends. I like that idea. Wasn't sure what power was gonna run out of first. HP or attacks? Oh my. If someone can give you an awful puzzle. Praise computer. Was I actually close to him running out of attacks? Like I don't I mean, I'm not highly leveled. I basically only ever fought one monster and defeated it in actual combat. So I'd say my level is probably lower than it should be at this point in the game. I'm gonna miss that ice cube. Should I keep it on screen? Oh, it's gonna go anyway. 
Goodbye, Ice Cube. This is also from Undertale? Seriously? I don't know why, but I thought this was one was from, like... I don't know, I thought it was a remix of Johnny's theme from Chrono Trigger. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her, too, right? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't tell my parents I'm here. Eh. Pyrus got off his really cool attack, or his cool, really cool regular attack. That's the last one he does. Ah, uh, okay. I would be surprised at how much of Undertale. I, yeah, I, I have to give credit where credit's due. This is an Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over and over. This is an Echo Flower. It repeats the last thing it heard over and over. Okay, I'm ready when you are. Hey. Didn't hear the kid. The sound of rushing water fills you with determination. Hey. That was a long time between saves. I'm usually a bit more worried about that kind of thing, but you know what? You can't reset this game. What? Haven't you seen a guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. I'm going to get to the grill bees. Want to come? Sure. Well, if you insist, I'll pry myself away from my work. Over here. I know a shortcut. Fast shortcut, huh? Hey, everyone. Hey, Sans. Hi, Sans. Greetings, Sans. Hiya, Sansy. Hey, Sans. Weren't you just here for breakfast a few minutes ago? Nah, I haven't had breakfast at least half an hour. <laughs> you must be thinking of brunch. He would have been sad if he died before getting that off, it's true. But he didn't, and that's what matters. Shortcut heads away from town, gets there immediately. That seems to be how these things work around here. Whoops. Watch where you sit down. Sometimes weirdos put whoopee cushions on these seats. Anyway, let's order. What do you want? A burger. Hey, that sounds pretty good. Real me. Well, I have a double order of burg. What kind of burg? Johannes? Fun fact, you click on the Echo Flower before talking to the guy, it says something different. I was thinking that, actually. I was like, man, I wish I'd talked to it first. But, oh well. So what do you think of my brother? He is... he's not cool. Oh, you know, I, you know, I like him well enough. Of course he's cool. He'd be cool, too, if you wore that outfit every day. He'd only take that thing off if he absolutely had to. Oh well. At least he washes it. And by that, I mean he wears it in the shower. Ah, I can try that again, that's true. One time elementary school you ruined your attempt to whoopee cushion the- Aww, that's unfortunate. Should've let that happen. Here comes the grub. Want some ketchup? Oh, do I- I'm more of a mustard on a burger kind of person. So no, no ketchup. More for me. And of course he drinks it, of course. Anyway, cool or not, you have to agree, Papyrus tries really hard. Like how he keeps trying to be part of the Royal Guard. That rhymed. One day he went to the house of the head of the Royal Guard and begged her to let him in. Of course, she shut the door on him because he is, it was at midnight. But the next day, she woke up and saw him still waiting there. Seeing his dedication, she decided to give him a warrior training. It's uh, still a work in progress. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you something. Ever heard of a talking flower? In fact, I have. So you know all about it. The echo flower. No, they're all over the marsh. Say something to them, and they'll repeat it over and over. What about it? Well, Papyrus told me something interesting about the other day. Sometimes, when no one else is around, a flower appears and whispers things to him. Flattery, advice, encouragement, predictions. Weird, huh? Someone must be using an echo flower to play a trick on him. Keep an eye out, okay? Thanks. Interesting. Yep, it is in fact my first playthrough. I've never played this game for more than like two minutes before this moment. How you doing, uh, Stefan? Nope, oh, that was a long break. Can't believe you let, let me... Can't believe I let you pull me all the way from work for that. Yeah, no spoils, please. 
I know some things about the game because it's been, you know, unavoidable spoilers of Undertale to some extent, but, you know, I'm still enjoying the details. By the way, I'm flat broke. Could you foot the bill? It's just 100G. Uh, no, I can't. Just kidding. Groby, put it on my tab. By the way, I was going to say something, but I forgot. We didn't even eat the damn burgers. Yeah, I thought about adding tags for that, but people pretty much only look to see what random shit postery things I put in the, the tags nowadays, as far as I know. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special, a place I like to spend a lot of time. And off we go. To wrong... Oh, never mind, not to wrong number peak. What? Uh... Basically, I've just been playing the game as I as I would play it, so it's probably neutral would probably be the best phrasing of it. My house! What the heck's going on over there? Oh, that's... Well, that's clever. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under it. Take a look-see. <laughs> oh, that's a sink, I just realized. What? Catch that meddling canine! Curses. And now I understand that meme. Sans, stop flaking my life with incidental music. Aha! Interested in my food museum? Please, peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. That's the trash can! Feel free to visit at any time. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary, non-egg substance. How absurd. Quiches are delicious. What, uh, the, like the Trumpet Kid thing? I could have sworn I've seen a version of that with, with Sans or me, but maybe that's from something entirely different. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yeah, of course. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. It's probably for the best. We would have reached a fixed point. Um, all that would have been inside was another turtle. Yeah, pacifists, we spare everything, and genocide, yeah. I know about that. So th yeah, this is neutral. I've, I've, I've done some. Ah, oh, it's my favorite game show. It says, stay tuned for the new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. It's just a bad episode. Don't judge me. Welcome to Scenic My House. Enjoy and take your time. What's the thing? You touch the couch. It makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. All worth it. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a fairy rock now. Yeah, no, I, I'm, I know that stuff. Please don't uh, tell me more things about outside the game. I'm, I'm making my way through it. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it like two inches. Move it to your own room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. That's my room. If you finish looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Not yet. I want to look at the, the painting. A classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Femurs. The door is locked. Alright, guess we're going to continue along this path. Dating a skeleton. Hey, those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday, even though it basically just happened. That's my bed. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive down a long highway. We did my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. I sleep in a racing car bed. Do you? 
No, I sleep in a big bed with my wife. Yep. That is a summation of what's happened. Kiltorial, Spare Papyrus, currently level 5. Yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical bout scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa. Isn't that flag Nido? Undine found it in the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. Yeah. Yeah, just just chill. Just chill. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. The next book's another one of my favorites. Peekaboo with Fluffy Buddy. Didn't even read the next line. Oh well. The internet. I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double-digit follower account. Of course. Fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. There are no skeletons inside my closet. Except me sometimes. Yes. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Yeah. So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date? Yes. Okay. Dating start. I don't know what I expected. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry. You can't spell prepared without several letters for my name. I signed an official dating rule book from the library. We're ready to have a great time. Doesn't away from double digits. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on the keyboard for dating HUD. <laughs> wow, yeah, I feel so informed. Oh, we're ready for step two. Step two, ask them on a date. Ahem. Human, I, uh, the Great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Yes. Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three, put on nice clothes to show you care. I do like the crime meter. I think that the uh, the dog radar is the best bit, though. Wait a second. Wear clothing. That bandana around your head. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that, earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No! Could it be? You've wanted to be on a date for me from the very beginning. Sure, why not? No! You planned it all! You're way better at dating than I am! No! Your dating power! Oh, this is silly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the Great Papyrus, have never ever been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes, just in case someone happens to ask me out on a date. Behold! <laughs> why, do his, why does his shoulders look like basketballs? That's amazing. What do you think? Yeah, I love it. It's great. No! A genuine compliment! Uh, however, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move and interact with Z. Oh god. Is it under his hat? My hat? My hat? My hat? Yeah. Well, well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. I wish I'd guessed other things first. It's a present. A present just for you. Open it. It's spaghetti. That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silken spaghetti, finely aged in an oak cast. A cask. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human, it's time to end this. There's no way this can go any further. Eat it. You take a small bite. Your face reflectively scrunches up. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me! Maybe even more than I do. Uh, I think I defeated him. Uh, human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. 
Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. Human, I want you to be happy too. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it hot in here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I, I'm sorry. I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, I tried very hard to, <laughs> because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you, and then, on the date, feelings would blossom forth, I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the Great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. <laughs> but instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. A dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't fail at anything. Human, I'll help you through these tying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your friendship. So please, don't cry because I won't kiss you. Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday, you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's probably not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime, platonically. Well, gotta go. Yeah. Fun fact, Toby Fox held a QA for Undertale, the instructions for how to submit questions, used Papyrus, what is your favorite food as an example? That makes sense. Though I think it's probably pretty obvious and easy to answer. Door still locked. We'll never know what's going on in there, even though it looks awesome. Okay. Oh, right. Here's what I want to do. I want to loop around so I can go to the save point, which I think is over here. He went one step further and had all ten questions he answered be joke submissions of what is Pyrus's favorite food. <laughs> That's a dedicated troll. I appreciate such dedication. It also occurs to me that I'm about to just walk this way and there's another save point. But I guess maybe there's a possibility of something bad happening when I'm going through this icy area. Oh, it's in that room. Oh, my. It's got to be scary. All that gives my life validation is explaining the echo flower. No one can know. Oh, lovely. Let's hang out again sometime. Because at least ten people animated the example question, of course. This is a box. You can put an item in it, or take an item. Why did I do this? I already know that this is a box. It's just like the ant, the thing your ant gave you that you don't know what it is. Except nicer somehow. Oh. Oh, 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 okay. Clearly I want to go down here first. Oh, Echo Flower. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Fascinating. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Fuzzy Pickles. Never trust the flower. You couldn't trust Bob, Bob the talking flower, and you can't trust these other ones, too. Secret behind the waterfall? I found the camera. Oh, no, wait. Skeletons. Hi, Undine. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that human I called you earlier. Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard, Undine. But in the end, I failed. You're going to take the human soul yourself? But Undine, you don't have to destroy them. You see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Yeah, I found the camera. Oh no. That looks dangerous. 
but it's blue-ish, so if I stand still, nothing bad should happen. And Dean from SNW Rob Hack is a so wrong game. Uh. Oh, hey, there's a kid. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What'd you do to get her attention? Haha. Uh -huh. Come on. Let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. A feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. Yeah, Stefan, if you can't help resist uh, backseating, I'm going to mute you. I'm sorry, but that's just how it has to be. Mm. I'm going to assume you didn't hear that warning quite yet. When four bridge seeds align in the water, they will sprout. Interesting. Anyway, consider the, yourself warned past that last one. I will just mute you. I don't usually like to ban people, just give them lengthy mutes. So. Aaron. What the heck am I looking at? It's like half horse, half snake, or maybe a horse genie? Aaron, 24-12. The seahorse has a lot of HP. Horsepower, okay. All of his attacks are harder to dodge at the bottom of the box. Interesting, that's actually useful. Check all you want. Ah, still bad at this. It smells like an underwater barnyard. Ew. Underwater barnyard indeed. I gotta flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Intact increases for both you two. Oh no. I don't think I like this. Flexing. Okay, well. Oh no. Ah, crap. I pressed the wrong side. Yep. Alright. Actually, I haven't killed any innocent monsters. Only Teriel. Thrice as hard. This was probably not a smart move. Yep. Yep. Alright. It has happened. These things happen sometimes. Right, one more flex. Flex is very hard. He flexes himself out the river. <laughs> I'm happy I won the flex off. And turn off the lights. They only bloom when in alignment. What does that mean in this case? They travel rightward. Oh, maybe not that. Yep, it's true. I gave I gave a few different warnings. If an error is made, the bell blossom can be made to call the bridge seats back where they started. Okay. I need an alignment, but I'm not sure what I want to do with that. Yeah, streamer misses things. I'm not worried about that. I get the feeling... I'm missing something with this puzzle already. That's not it. So they need to all be in, the, in a row. Right, they won't blossom any other way. So let's see, if I do that... Oh, hey, I can actually go read that sign. That's something I can do. I want to go read that sign. Alright. Because that's an obvious thing that makes sense. I can read this sign. Congratulations! You failed the puzzle. Well then. Okay, 
three here, three here, three here. Maybe... Do they have to be in a row directly? So here's a thought. Or do they only have to be in a row in... in indirectly? No, they have to be directly in a row. Okay. Testing another theory. Nope. I get the feeling there's something basic about this that I'm missing. I suddenly feel very stupid. No, that doesn't help me. Can I take this with me? No, of course not. That'd make it too easy. I believe it's great for cursed SMW levels. It's three across, three across, three across, two across, three across, three across. Test the theory that other Tetris piece configurations may or may not work. But I'm beginning to think it only works if they're exactly in a row. Yeah. I only have four of them, so I can't really stack it anywhere. It always travels... Wait a second. It has nothing to do with the flow. It has to do how I, with how I throw it. That's the answer. Uh. You know what, actually, Hawaluta, would you like a, a sword, at least for the duration of this playthrough? I feel that you are a person who would uh, would appreciate that. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did you get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially till I got yours. Yeah, so what are you wearing? I'm asking for a friend. She thought she saw you wearing a bandana. Is that true? Are you wearing a bandana? What will you say? Yeah, I'm still wearing the bandana. So you are wearing a bandana. Got it. Wink, wink. Have a nice day. All right. Don't, don't press the ban button. See, I don't actually don't... Wait, it's probably obvious. Might wander off here and there. That's fine. That's fine. Just having another set of eyes helps. Not mode. There you go. Enjoy your sword, Havaluja. Click. Ooh, Echo Flower. A long time ago, monsters did whisper their wishes to the stars in the sky. If you hoped with all your heart, your wish would also come true. Now, all we have here are sparkling stones in the ceiling. Wishing room. <clears throat> oh, I expected more from that. Thousands of people wishing together can't be wrong. The king will prove that. Come on, sis. Make a wish. There's your bow and arrow. What is going on with Wusha here? Washua? Washua, okay. Washua, this humble germaphobe seeks to cleanse the whole world. Your soul is unclean. Yeah, that's something some people put on Twitter. Alright, Washua was friends with a little bird. Clean. You ask Washua to clean you. It hops around excitedly. Green means clean. Oh good, something to heal me. Maybe. If it fires in any direction I can pick up. Washua wonders if tears are sanitary. Alright, spare him. 25 golds. It's not bad. Better wash that scene away. What's up, Ace Retro? How you doing? Mandatory wave sword in chat. <laughs> Wish my sister and I will see real stars someday. What are stars? Look through the telescope? Yes. Yeah, I knew it. You'd... Check wall. Okay, this actually was worth doing. Huh. All right. Ah, 
Seems my horoscope is the same as last week's. You're doing good? Excellent. That's your horoscope for today. Ancient writing covers the walls. You can just make out the words. The War of the Humans and Monsters. I swear these songs keep getting louder and louder. Let me know if the volume needs to be adjusted. This is a game where I can actually do that fairly easily. Why did the humans attack? Indeed, it seemed like they have nothing to fear. Humans are unbelievably strong and take the soul of nearly every monster, just to equal the power of a single human soul. Of course your horoscope's the same, the stars and the walls don't move. It's true. But you may find the fact that, uh, my, wait, you may find it inconvenient fact that very little, at least unlikely that the relative position of the planets and the stars have a specialty significance or meaning that exclusively applies to only you. So let's give it your assurance that your forecasts and predictions are all based on all the scientific documented evidence. You must have to be some kind of moron not to realize that every single one of these are absolutely true. Where was I? But humans have one weakness. Ironically, that is the strength of their soul. Its power allows uh, it to persist outside the human body even after death. If a monster defeats a human, they can take its soul. A monster with a human soul. A horrible beast with unfathomable power. It's an illustration of a strange creature. There's something very unsettling about this drawing. Oh, I can't see it, though. Oh, I've got the raft. A big promotion, just around the corner, so much more talented than you. Laughter is the very best medicine. Remember that when your appendix burst this week? I used to have a non-trivial amount of that song memorized. Much better than the bit I just did. <laughs> or at least tried to. I don't think I want to be hit by that. Oh god! Alright. Now I know I don't want to be hit by those. To juke him out. Oh crap. Oh, it got me. Game over, yeah. Not in now. But stay determined. Oh, I didn't even save in this room. How convenient. Get ready for an unexpected trip when you can fall screaming through an open window. Work a little bit harder at improving your low self-esteem, you stupid freak. Yeah. Man. Weird Al at his best. Okay, so go up here and dodge by dodging back. Oh. Oh, I think I can exit through the right side. Oh, I got caught in the corner. Stupid diagonal movement in a tile-based world. Uh, are you still eating out a sword? Oh, I thought I did it. Did I not do it? Did I accidentally give someone else a sword? I tried... No, it said your name was invalid because there was a colon at the end of it. I'm dumb. I never use these commands. I think you should have it now? There you go. Oh, did I miss something important? Crap. Eh, well, mistakes were made. Oh, you're back. Okay. Uh, you hesitate to abuse powers you may or may not have. Uh, Ernest Wagner. You got hanging in your den. I never knew who that guy was. I still don't. Oh, there's the kid again. Man, this kid's fast. Yo, did you see that? Undine just touched you. I'm never watching my face again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little bit to the left, yo, don't you worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Undine grabbing Monster Kid by the face. Ah. Well, at least he told me what happened. That works for me. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. 
Squeak. As a dead person once said, with great power comes great responsibility. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical crystal, it fills you with determination. With great cheese comes even greater crystal. The stars say you're an exciting and wonderful person, but you know you're lying. If I were you, I'd lock my doors and windows and never, 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 never leave my house again. Weird Al remains awesome. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally a lot but to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about that? Use the telescope? Yeah, it went really well last time. It's very red. Who's ready for Gaster? Not this... Well, I guess we didn't do that. I've got this vague feeling that in the future, someone might rec <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Bastard. Aren't you satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full, full refund. <laughs> it's so, like, 1950s little rascals. Oh, and it's gone now. Oh, this is... The room has another box in it. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. Ooh, 21 different flavors. I really I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards! Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for an ice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Yeah, I'll take another one. Why not? Windlich ever closer to Everhood. It's true. There's a two-player Undertale. Wonder how that would work. Guess I'll take the card. That, that explains why there's multiple boxes. We can skip the whole game now. Just get in the box and exit out to the, the other thing. Oh, how you doing, Faro? Use the box? Yes. Put the punch card in the box. Talk to the onion, or the gourd. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? These questions all apply to lunar magic. Hmm, down or over? Punch card is used extensively in glitch base runs. Go figure. Glitch the game with the punch card. All right, I'm definitely going to ask that question later. I am definitely going to ask how the fuck that works later. Um, in fact, for most of the request games, I've actually looked up, like, speedruns after the fact, and they've been somewhat hilarious in terms of how they work out. Except Zelda 2. Zelda 2 is pretty dang straight-laced. You hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? I mean, if you consider pretty much any game, there will be glitch-based speedruns. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm, just one. But it's kind of stupid. Walk past the Pac-Men. Walk into a Mold Small. I won! Those are Jello molds now that I think about it. It's only polite to save power. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? You got the ballet shoes. Alright. Hope I don't eat these. Oh, info! That would have been smart! These Yushus make you feel incredibly dangerous. Alright, that seems marginally better than the bandana, I think. Def 7? Wait. Info. A oh, weapon 7. And thank you for the follow up. It's intriguing to see how many different random things are actually based upon numbers at the starts of games. I wonder if other games do that. Like, you could easily do that in, like, Super Nintendo games. Between the punch card, it says a small window. The game lets you walk and open the menu. Oh, uh, okay. I've definitely seen that sort of thing happen in other, other mediums, like Chrono Trigger. If you can do that, it has a Save Anywhere glitch. That turns out to be really important. 
fastest way frame wise to force a dialogue box. Huh. Oh god. I wasn't ready and I forgot what I was doing. Wash you leg. The combined attack is definitely weirder. Don't want to fight. Okay. Clean. Education, hobby, talent. Probably should stop doing that. That would have hit me. I'm doing good. How are you, Ethan Riptide? Um, just doing, like, the first... Oh, that didn't work. Uh, it's my first time playing this game for more than, like, two minutes. Uh, very good. I got distracted by the TGS. I'm, you know, I'm just gonna flee. I'm gonna flee. I don't need to fight this. But I think there's a save point on the prior screen. I'm just gonna go use it again. Or wait, maybe that was the prior prior screen. Uh, become God. Solve problems. Now, I know this is an RPG, but it's not a JRPG where you go and kill God, I don't think. It's more of a, more of a JRPG thing, like I said. Gives you three bars and has really high damage output if you hit all three in the middle. Huh. I will have to consider that next time I actually want to hurt something. Uh, right. I couldn't go right to go see the duck. I feel like there must be a way to let me traverse some of this water at some point to hear, like go talk to these other flowers, but maybe not. Ring. Hello! This is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about clothes? Well, a friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... Murdery. But I bet you knew that already. And because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana! As I knew, of course, after such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. This way you're safe and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone is easy. I wish I had other equipment, but I don't. I thought the shoes were going to be armor. Oh, crap. Yep, it's true. Kappa did redeem channel points to never do Geno. Uh, genocide, so... He did! He did! Immediately! It was it was so fast. I could give you an actual, like, thing. Sans was voted Tumblr's hottest man. I actually did know that, surprisingly. Um, I read it in a thread on Reddit, after all. It must be true. It just seems like the right thing for Tumblr to have done. It would have either been... Sans are like some guy from Doctor Who. Still want to go back and do it like a challenge? Eh. Gotta flex harder. Kit's okay, still the arm one. Ready for your next flex. You flex. Aaron flexes very hard. He flexes himself out of the room. <laughs> I love it so much. It's a very muscle dude thing to do. Uh, heard the rains down in Africa. Hear a passing conversation. Don't say that. Come on. I promise I won't laugh. Hmm. Close enough. Yeah, Miku's not always going to be a rap god. She tries, though. To read the sign. I'm not fighting two of them. Well, that's the first time that's ever happened. Out damn spot is actually a quote from Macbeth, if I'm not mistaken. I still think the Toto oversold Africa. I don't like the looks of this tentacle. As a general feeling, I stay away from tentacles. That's an octopus. Hey there, noticed you were here. I'm Onion-san. Onion-san, you here? Okay, fine. I guess... Uh, I guess I'm stuck with this thing. You're visiting my water waterfall, right? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Before we go back for genocide, just considering editing safe, I'll go right at the end. Ah, oh, that makes sense. 
said the Scottish play, everything's gonna go to hell. Oh no. Eh, it could be worse. Even though the water is getting so shallow here. That's the fourth time I pressed the Windows button. I ha have to sit down all the time, but hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. Oh god, I need to cough, sorry. And living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. I like the faces on this guy, but the aquarium's full. Anyway, even if I want to do I, that's okay though. You hear? Undine's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In Waterfall. I'm having a great time in Waterfall. Just look at how excited I am. This is a new one. What am I looking at? Maybe it's not looking at me. 19 0. Tone deaf. She's not a same to a siren. Shy rin. She's too ashamed to sing her deadly song. I got it. Toot. Ah, cute. Shy rin pretends to be a pop idol. Conduct. You wave your arms wildly. You are now vulnerable to electric attacks. Do attacks have elements in this game? I'm pretty sure this is a mute Sonic based attack. Chiron thinks about doing karaoke by herself. Uh, hum? You hum a jazz ballad. Chiron follows your melody. Si re, si re, shimi, shimi. I just made it harder. Seems much more comfortable singing along. There we go. Now conduct electricity. Oh. That makes sense. Uh, what am I playing on? I'm playing on Windows. I've got the Steam version here. Um, and because I have a standard computer with a Windows key, I keep opening the Windows, uh, the start menu occasionally. That's the fourth time. For three hours, that's not bad, I think. Uh, the Northern Room hides a great treasure. I oh, can't resist that. A haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. Oh, God. Uh, X to quit. There's a piano here. Play it? Yes. I can't even hear it. There's no point in me trying this. I'm, I'm basic. I'm not tone deaf, but I don't do music. Not playing on SNES. I wish I could. Uh, but nope. I mean, I guess... Is there enough bandwidth on USB to get away with that? I guess my last experiments with that didn't go well. This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And its incredible power... An incredible power would mean take the soul of a living monster. Hmm. I guess I have that power. At least I can steal their money. One exception, the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now, never will. Yeah, I, uh, I'm playing on PC. Playing on Windows. Um, let me see if I can actually hear this. If there's a haunting melody, I cannot hear it. Keeps cutting out and in. Uh, yeah, try to try to avoid hints. Like I said, even if I could hear it, I'm terrible at music. I can resist the temptation. I don't need it. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Hmm. 
Seems important. Huh. Please take one. Take an umbrella? I have an umbrella! Hooray! Alright. Put the umbrella on the statue. Yes. Oh, a music box begins to play. That's pleasant. There's no way I could notate this to actually play it. I want another umbrella, though. Ooh, reflections. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go. I mean, it's not terribly effective if you don't stay under the umbrella, kid. It's not like I'm trying to ditch him, but still. I mean, Undine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was human, I would wet the bed every night. <laughs> Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> I really want to recite the Yoshi's Egg copy pasta right now. In fact, I did know about that. Uh, Zuccotti does some speedruns of Undertale. And he was telling me about that, and that's why you should use keyboard. So one time, we had a school project where we have to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Demur, Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undine came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I did not, re that was not what I was expecting that to end. End up as. Maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt an innocent person. Oh ho! Uh, oh, I, I can move. Now that is some nice parallax. Look at that. You got the stars, you got the castle, you got the kid. You got the field. I enjoy a good parallax. Can I talk to the kid? Nope. As we walk from cave to cave. Yeah, I already knew that, though. So. Uh, there's a frog that tells you about that. Return the umbrella? Yeah, I'll return the umbrella. It's good to be kind. Be kind, rewind. This ledge, by the way, is too steep. Want to see Undine, right? I'm on my shoulders. Oh, that worked. I definitely misread the height map there. Go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. He does. The oh, holiday trips. Ah, oh, poor kiddo. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. Serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. I wonder if I would have gotten that same message if I hadn't actually given the statue an umbrella. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice uh, bit of reflection right there. Uh, sup, 4GT, how you doing? You actually tested it once, you get a different message? Oh, okay. That is interesting. Oh, there's puddles. Oh no! I took a moment to relax and the Tetris got me. This sounds very much like Metroid Escape music. Oh god, I'm gonna pick the wrong one. Oh, they're equally equipped. I'm just going to assume these also hurt the square above them. Dang it. I got lucky. Nope, not that way. Oh, not that way either. Wonder how it chooses what pattern of dots to lay out. I can, can I manipulate this? No, I think it's based upon where I'm standing. Not which direction I'm facing. I think I took a really long path to go nowhere. That's my guess. I think it's predicted based upon where I am, rather than which direction. Oh man, 
maybe. Dang it. Now is not the time to try to figure out game mechanics. I just keep hiding in the lower right hand corner. I don't think it's a good strategy, but it could work. Um, dead end. I haven't given this statue the umbrella. There's no music for the reference. Ah, yeah. Oops. It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down. Haven't you? Are you okay? Is there a character called Courier New? Butts, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Oh, I, I actually did discover a weird little Easter egg thing uh, when I was testing. I named my character all A's because I just wanted to get in the game to get the, like, crop. Uh, and it told me I wasn't very creative for naming my character all A's. Which, fair. I can't argue with that. Piles of garbage. There's quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Tails, how you doing, Fedora? Uh, waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. I don't know what that does. Uh, just garbage. It's funny, there was a time when my chatbot did not work if it wasn't actually hooked up to the Super Nintendo. Like, I just coded it too uh, tightly bound to that. I did fix that last year. <laughs> but for a time, I had to do that. You rest your hand on the rusty bicycle. Its horn wheezes a honk of despair, and you need a tetanus shot. A beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Uh, no hard drives to pull. That's the best part of random hard drive, uh, random derelict computers. It's a cooler. It has no brands and shows no wear signs of wear and tear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. You got the astronaut food. You got the astronaut food. Oh, it's empty. It's a DVD case for an anime. Desperate claw marks over the edges. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Yeah. You sock the dummy. Who cares? Uh, have derelict like PC in your home right now. Oh no, I shouldn't have socked the dummy. Mistakes were made. Fool! You think you could hurt me? I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. When you talked to them, they thought they were in for a nice little chat. But the things you said, I, I said, like, one thing to it. Horrible, shocking, unbelievable. It spooked them right out of their dummy. Human, I'll scare your soul out of your body. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Gotta edit the save file? It's possible. Uh, let's talk to it. Oh, check it out first. Mad dummy, 30 defense, yes. Because they're a ghost, physical attacks will fail. Noted. Would have attacked even if I didn't beat it up. I mean, it makes sense, given the, the plot. But... I still feel better since I got the first hit in. Ow, you dummies. Oh, watch where you're aiming your magic attacks. Hey, you. Forget I said anything about that. Magic dummy is looking nervous. Mad dummy is looking nervous. You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. I'll defeat you and take your soul. Mad Dummy is hopping mad. It's a different song. You talk to the dummy. Doesn't seem much for conversation. Yeah, because you swore at their friend. I could have sworn I didn't do anything to this friend except beat him up. Which still isn't good, I will admit. You know. No one is happy with this. Use your soul to cross. Okay, crap, I missed it. Mad 
Mad Dummy glares into a mirror, and then turns to you with the same expression. Use your soul to cross the barrier. Thank you. He already has a soul, because he's a ghost, right? Ghosts are nothing but soul. Craziest RTA viable trick is the Mad Dummy skip. It requires frame-perfect inputs. Ooh. Same expression. Right, we already did that one. You talk to the dummy! It doesn't seem much for talk, I don't know. Then the window of fancy store or something. Ah. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box! You talk to the dummy. It doesn't seem much for conversation. No one is happy with this. Then everything I want will be mine! Oh, now these things are falling at me. Mad Dummy is getting cotton all over the dialogue box. Can I see how much... He sells a lot of HP, but apparently that's not how we're keeping track of things. Yeah, I guess that'll avenge my cousin. Oh, I missed my chance. Speedrunners literally use an automated metronome to time the inputs. Oh, wow. Did they put a banana on it? Oh, damn it! Fifth time. Push the Windows button. No one is happy with this. Ah, he stopped moving. I mean, can I? Can I spare him now? No, whatever, whatever, whatever. He doesn't seem happy to, to do that. With these fights, I'm never... Oh, I gotta pay attention to where he, land, where he is after that group spawns. At least Spare has fewer uh, dialogue options. Spe ah, no. I thought there'd be another wave. Like, I have this fight down. I just need a little bit of luck. And a lot more of those bolts to hit him. There we go. Hey, guys. Dummies. Dummies. Dummies! Remember how I said not to shoot at me? Well... Failures! You're all fired! You're all being replaced! Aww. <laughs> now you'll see my true power! Relying on people that aren't garbage. <laughs> Mechanical words fill the room. Let's try again. Nope. Doesn't seem much for talking. Dummy! Bots! Magic Missile! Aw, oh, yes! Hopping mad. Still hopping mad. Yeah, we'll go back to trying the, the spare every turn, because it just takes less time. Oh god, I wasn't ready for that. I still got one. That wasn't good. Aw, oh, I was going home to get him on the back end. Armless Ska Dance. You know, I've never seen anyone actually dance to Ska. Oh, right. Oh. Alright, this is a problem. Oh, well, I still got some. No way! These guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. I have a knife. <laughs> I've got knives. <laughs> Who needs friends when you have a knife? I'm out of knives. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever! 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 Ah! Ah! Oh. It's rainy. The heck is this? I'm just gonna stand underneath him. He's like an umbrella. Acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. That was a fun fight. Oh, now there's a ghost. Oh, because I was friendly to the ghost. Sorry I interrupted didn't you, didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh no, I just wanted to say hi. Oh no! Aw, uh, poor ghosty. Well, I'm gonna head home now. Oh, um, feel free to come with if you want. But no pressure. I understand if you're busy. It's fine. No worries. Just thought I'd offer. Well, it's a place to go. 
leaves, singular. Blue Key feels all awkward about interrupting. It's cute. My house is up here, in case you want to see. Or in case you don't. Just hope he doesn't date me. You feel a calm, calming tranquility. You're filled with determination. You know, actually, I'm kind of tempted now. Maybe I'll see about trying to rip the, the banana metronome sp sprite out of Monkey Island. That's not the dumbest idea I've ever had for an emote. Oh. Oh, hey, this is how I get to this spot. Hey, duck. Little bird wants to carry you across. No, it took forever to get over here. All right, let's go talk. Let's go see about this house here. He invited us. So, yeah, I think we have to go. You really came. Sorry, I uh, wasn't expecting that. It's not much, but make yourself at home. Actually, that'd be easier than doing the dang smiling one, because I already have the code for that somewhere. Yeah. Oh, someone does... What is this? Oh, that's cute. You hungry? I can get you something to eat. Can he? He's a ghost. <laughs> Blocky house. I don't know what you were expecting, but I guess I should know. You can buy your own ad on this site, and it will show up on the stream. This is a ghost sandwich. Do you want to try it? Yes. You attempt to bite into the ghost sandwich. You phase right through it. Oh. Never mind. After, I'm, after a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. It's a family tradition. Do you want to join me? Yeah, why not? Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. You'll lie down as long as you don't move. So, only move around when you want to get up. I guess. Indeed it is, Kappa. But I can't actually see them right now. Uh, Alright, one quick second. Give my, uh, my hand a break. Looking... Isn't this the wallpaper for iOS something or other? I can feel it fairly certain I've seen this background before. Maybe it's from like a Final Fantasy game. Universe completed successfully. <laughs> contemplated successfully. Yeah, we're, we're successfully contemplating things. That was a nice break to contemplate the universe. Well, that was nice. Thank you. You still need to recover after all that lying down. Oh, the mouse is still on the screen. Or I probably put it back there when I moved a different mouse. There we go. No mouse. Uh, I'm going to keep working on that mix CD. The computer's internet browser is open to a music sharing forum. The computer's... Oh, now I already read that. Check out the TV. Oh, that's my TV. There's a show I like to watch on it. Sometimes. The CD is labeled Spook Tunes. Play it. The CD is labeled Spook Wave. Play it. <laughs> the CD is labeled... Ghoul Day, Ghoulie Day music. It's a spider web. There's a flyer for a bake sale on it. What about the. Ah, uh, the other house is locked. Okay, so. It's a non trivial amount of. Oh my. What? 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 It's a living. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. What if this is the Undine Fellow's house? What a world. 
North, Block Acres, East, Hotland, question mark, Temi Village. I'm aware of Tem. One of those... Oh, there's a ghost there. I was like, why is this tile discolored? Awkward. I'm working right now. I mean... Welcome to Look Family Snail Farm. Yeah, I'm the only employee. This place used to get a lot of business. But our main customer disappeared one day. Oh, now it's just some hairy guy who shows up once a month. It's a snail. For some reason, you can't help but wonder what it tastes like. You know what I haven't done? Never called papyrus. These snails are just like my brother. Round, slow, and constantly emitting slime. That was totally worth doing. Snail, snail. A long journey extends in front of you. Reach far and stretch beyond the horizons. So snaileth Sam Boyle. I've been long overdue for a second house. This snail is counting dollar bills. Ooh, snail racing. Do you want to play a game? It's called Thunder Snail. The snails will race, and if you uh, yellow snail wins, you win. It's 10p to G to play. All right, press Z repeatedly to encourage your snail. Be encouraged. I don't think this is working. I definitely didn't Z good enough. Looks like you encourage your snail too much. All that pressure to succeed really got to her. Oh. Oh, so too much encouragement is bad. Oh. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Oh, gotta wait. It's the countdown. if that much encouragement helps. Like, encouraging it stops it. I don't think I like this snail game. Got nine times to do it. Have <laughs> a word from today's sponsor. Uh, I should bring up the ad page in case someone buys another one. You both tried your best, but the snail looks discouraged. Her best wasn't good enough. Oh. All right, I'm done with snail racing. I don't feel like this is a adventure that's going to help me anytime soon. Uh, I went through a bunch of cutscenes. Let's save again. Never hurts. It's fucking Rick Astley. Of course it's Rick Astley. I built the whole ad system on April Fool's Day. Everybody wanted to get silly ads in. I've kept it around because people seem to like it, so. What's up here? Oh, God. It's a turtle. Got some neat junk for sale. Crab apple. Heals 18. Looks like a crab. CT. Speed up in battle. Does that mean my character speeds up or other things? Invincible longer? Longer? Okay. Those both seem like things I don't... Actually, the torn notebook might be something I want. Hmm. I'll think about that. Yeah, I think I'm good on stuff. We'll talk to him, though. Been around a long time. Maybe too long. Studying history sure is easy when you've lived through so much of it yourself. Eh? You don't know that that is? What are they teaching you kids in school nowadays? Wahaha. <laughs> That's the Delta Rune! Oh, name drop. Album of our kingdom. The kingdom of monsters. Wahaha, <laughs> great name, huh? As I always say, Old King Fluffy Buns can't name for beans. Emblem actually predates written history. The original meaning has been lost to time. All we know is that the triangle symbolize us monsters below, and the weird winged circle symbolizes something else. Most people say it's an angel, the angel from the prophecy. Oh yeah, the prophecy. 
Legend has it, an angel who has seen the, sur has seen the surface will descend from above and bring us freedom. Lately, the people have been taking a bleaker outlook, calling that wedge circle the Angel of Death, ye, a harbinger of destruction, waiting to uh, free us from this mortal realm. In my opinion, when I see the little circle, I just think it looks neat. Almost dying asleep. All right. Good night, Tsukadi. Sleep well. We'll see how much longer I go about this, but you won't have to watch too much VOD, I don't imagine. Uh, Dasko the King? King Fluffy Buns. He's a friendly, happy-go-lucky kind of guy. If you keep walking around long enough, you'll probably meet him. He loves to walk around and talk to people. Eh? Why do I call Dreamer Fluffy Buns? Oh, that's a great story. I don't remember it. But if you come back much later, I'm sure I'll have remembered it by then. Undine? Yeah, she's a local hero around here. Through grit and determination, she fought her way to the top of the Royal Guard. Actually, she just came through here asking about someone who looked just like you. I'd watch your back, kid, and buy some items. It might just save your hide. Wahaha, -ha, I don't like that at all. It's like five in the morning. Yeah. Feeling evil presence watching you. Hard to, hard to say. I'm gonna go down first. Intriguing, but empty. Alright, gonna keep pushing forward. Let's see what else is here. Hurt, beaten, and fearful for our lives, we've surrendered to the humans. Seven of their greatest magicians sealed us in an underground underground with a magic spell. Anything can enter through the seal, but only beings with a powerful soul can leave. There is only one way to reverse this spell. If a huge power equivalent to seven human souls attacks the barrier, it will be destroyed. That's a lot of that's a lot of uh, lot of human. But this cursed place has no entrances or exits. There is no way a human could come here. We will remain trapped down here forever. Definitely vampires. Oh, I can walk on these. Ooh, shiny. That's a simple gimmick, but I appreciate it. Could I opt not to use it? Nope. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I, I could opt to use, not use these things. Interesting. Special enemy Temi appears, here to defeat you. Okay, um, check. Temi, rated 10 out of 10. Loves to pet cute humans, but you're allergic. Ah, uh, cute. Pets you. Ah, uh, flame worm. Oh no! Temi is trying to glomp you. Talk? You say hello to Temi. Oi, I'm Temi! Oh god, that thing's terrifying! Temi vibrates intensely. Okay, yeah, I've, I've flicated the Temi. And it's dead. Huh. Not what I expected, honestly. There's a prick here. Hmm. The monster note of Temi was based upon the lead artist Temi Chang. Huh? You know, I always thought Undertale was a one-person gig, but apparently not. To be fair, making a game of any scale that isn't, like, simple, simple arcade game with just one person is, uh, is a fairly difficult proposition. No, Mold Smalls, whatever. That one doesn't want to, uh, to flee. I guess I have to talk to it. Flirt. You wiggle your hips. Suddenly... Didn't see that coming. It's Wiggler! Oh, not Wiggler. Dang it. What am I thinking of? Uh, it's Pokey. Moldy Bug gyrates reservedly. Moldy Bug, attack 18, defense 18. One size greater than a mold average. Oh, mold big. Eh. Roar. Mold big, gyrates reservedly. 
unhug, you don't hug Moldbug. It appreciates your respect of its boundaries. You know, I could have done that better. Seems comfortable with your presence. All right, let's get out of here. It's not a mold small, it's a mold big. Very small team, but there was more than just Toby Fox. Gotcha. Based on a similar ROM pack rack uh, of Earthbound. I've heard of that. I have heard of that. We've heard that. I bet the thing is I turn this off and follow the path as I know it, and then at the end it connects somehow. Nope. Earthbound Halloween hack before creating... Uh, hey, that worked! Completely on accident, but it worked. Oi, welcome to Tem Village! Earthbound thing before creating Undertale. Had a number of similar themes, gotcha. You feel something. You're filled with determination. This is a strange place. Oi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend Temmy. Oi, I'm Temmy. And this is my friend, Temmy. Oi, I'm Temmy. Don't forget my friend. Hi, I'm Bob. I like Bob. Rich history of Tem. That's it. Alright. Oi, you should check out Tem Shop. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Should check Tem Shop. Aw, humans. Such a cute statue of Tem. Very famous. Very. Feeling of being watched. Oh, okay. Mushroom dance. Mushroom dance. Whatever could it mean? It means you've lived a life of sin. Oh. Tem heard human allergies to Tem. That okay. Tem understand. Tem also allergic to Tem. <laughs> That's adorable and stupid. It's a hard-boiled egg. <laughs> Remember someone commenting about how cool it is that Megalovania started in a ROM hack in a Nintendo game? And now it's a big name title? Yeah, it ended up in Smash Bros. It's kind of impressive how far it's gone for being an indie game. Tem, watch egg. Egg will hatch. Tem, proud parent. Alright, check out the shop, I guess. Oi, welcome to the Tem shop. Say hello. Oi, I'm Temmy. Oi, oh, dang. Oi, I'm Temmy. Us Tems have a deep history. <laughs> yeah, go to Tem shop. Okay, I've been to the Tem shop. Tem flakes. Tem flakes on sale. Tem flakes expensively. Pay for Tem to colleague. Or Tem pay for colleague. Tem pursue higher education. If only I could help you, Tem. If only I could help you. Can I sell things? I can sell things. Oh, I don't need the glove no more. Whoa! Got tough gloves. Mm, got a tough gloves. We got up in the colleague. Uh, Tim always want tough gloves. <laughs> sure. I've got a feeling that that made the Tim thing more expensive. No, it didn't, huh? All right, that was something. It's pretty easy to miss. It. I did it completely on accident. I was holding down until I I exited the area. <laughs> I would like to claim that I came up with a- I was- I was clever here, but no, I just kind of accidented my way into it. Mostly because I hadn't solved this puzzle. Maybe there's another edge that shows up earlier? Ah, oh, there we go, that's the actual ticket. Help Tem pay for colleague, please. If I make enough money, but not- not from this fight, I don't like this fight. Oh crap, that's not what I meant to do. I have to dodge both soap and... Arms. Ah, oh, nuts. Give her a lot of money and get Tem to go to college. I kind of figured that, but it, you know, Tem, there's a thousand, hundred, or 
a thousand gold is a lot. Um, I'm certainly putting it on the list of things I want to do, though. Without candles or magic to guide them home, the monsters use crystals to navigate. I'm noticing a pattern here. Okay, I can fire these temporarily. I get it. Only 1k for Kali. You know what, if you believe it's only 1k, but remember, these are gold pieces. If you consider how much a gold piece is, it actually might be even more expensive than regular human college. You know, this actually might not be a bad group to fight. Like, the bouncing soap isn't too bad. Alright, we'll unhug. And the washing machine's not too bad. One of them. And then go over here and clean. Never fires green in the direction I'm at. God. He's friends with a little bird. Oh, that's nice of him. I think I may need to go back to, uh, to the town village. I'm gonna keep running into these gigantic washing things. You joke? You tell a joke about how a kid ate a pie with their bare hands. Wash was powers neutralized! No, that joke! Too dirty! Washa is looking for some good clean fun. You tell a joke about two kids who played in a moldy flower garden. Or muddy flower garden. His power is neutralized. I guess the individual combat things. Washu was friends with a little bird. Alright, we know that. Clean. Green means clean. Washu wonders if tears are sanitary. Um, touch? Reach out. Watch your recoils from your touch. Like, I've done an awful lot of things here. Maybe just try sparing at this point and see if it works at all. Nope. No, not just nope. So... I guess I need to... Oh, I don't want to hurt it. There's got to be a better solution. Tell a joke about a kid who slept in the soil. Powers are neutralized! Oh no, our weapons are useless! Rinsing off a pizza. No one wants wet pizza. Based on your research on Golden Coinage the Midi Lair, you're doing the math. If you're doing the math correctly. Our tier is sanitary. Ah, uh, they're pretty salty. I wouldn't say they're sanitary though. Oh dang it. I meant to press X. I don't feel I'm winning this fight. I think I'm bad at this looping bit. Maybe one more clean, I'm gonna try to spare and then I'm gonna run. Because he just doesn't seem interested. One more clean. I'm out of ideas here. Tried nothing. We're all out of ideas. There we go. At least one bit of healing. There we go. Finally. Because I just need to, to stick with clean for a bit. There's a potential. Let's see, 45. I'd need to fight ugh, 20 of those if I wanted to take uh, Tim to college. Or colleague. Isn't this right? Oh no, uh. Which is. Oh, crap. Oh, it's Tenny. Um. Temmie only wants the ten places. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, so hungry he dies. Alright, Temmie isn't even worth fighting. 
Give me nothing last time I bought. Oh, come on. Accidentally misspelled her own name. Human's too cute. Uh, no, no, not this again. Uh. Timmy forgot her other attack. That is actually really annoying. Um, Doc, you say hello to Timmy. Come on, why has it always got to be the dang legs attack? Vibrates intensively. All right, there we go. No. I should just bleed to begin with. Or Temi E. What a strange creature. Let's go heal up. Mistakes were made. Um, let's check this house again. Doesn't seem like anyone's home. Dummy doesn't seem too interested either. It's a living. It's the kind of things the uh, birds in the Flintstones say. Right, down there was nothing of interest. Over here... Well, it's like when... Uh, I don't know why, I don't actually think the Flintstones. I'm thinking of the Aqua Teen Hunger Force bit. Where, um... Uh, the Sheep Master Shake wants to have a bird like let out a whistle when you pull a, a string attached to it. <clears throat> did I just avoid a fight by doing a tr uh, transition? Because I think I did. Huh. I'm surprised there's a race there. Uh, what is TTS? Uh, that's text to speech. So I have a text-to-speech engine that uh, uses Hatsune Miku to emit vaguely English text. It doesn't always work perfectly, but it is kind of entertaining when it does. I guess I may just need to take this fight. I can't believe that missed. Oh, Wait. oh those are blue. I can win by standing still. Frame perfect fight avoidance. I'm impressed with myself somehow. This is a dead end. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I can't see shit. I just want to find another one of these. Is this an exit? No. Am I doing neutral? Eh, pretty much. I'm not going out of my way to kill things, but I have killed at least one thing. Um, I did not like this fight last time. Right, I can stay still down here when there aren't circles being thrown in my face. Level facts. Yeah, those are those are the facts. Right. Kappa with the facts. I once wanted to implement something with a fax machine. I don't remember what my plan was, but I thought it would be funny. Turns out that the week I thought about it. Twilio uh, deprecated their, their fax API literally that week. I was so bummed. I'm nowhere near where I need to be somehow. Oh, hey, there we go. Alright, I navigated the maze. I'm already sick of that. It is dark. You are likely to be eaten by a Gru. Some grass here. Hello, flower. Behind you. Oh. It's much lighter here now. It would be nice if the lanterns themselves remain visible. That would be nice. 
Mistakes were made is all I have to say about that. Seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king, King Asgore, de dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shout into the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul. Or I'll tear it from your body. Do I have, do I have much of a choice? Nope, no choice. Oh, Undine, I'll help you fight. Oh, kid's gonna get stabbed. Yo, you did it. Undine is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. She's fighting me, though. Wait, who's she fighting? <laughs> you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? This game loves a good anticlimax. I... This wiggly grass is not helping me. You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? I guess now that I can see, we, there was another path. Which probably wasn't there when I first tried that. You hear a passing conversation. Hmm. If I say my wish, you promise you won't laugh at me? You hear a passing conversation. Of course I won't laugh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Standing under the sky, looking at the world all around. That's my wish. You hear laughter. Hey, you said you wouldn't laugh at it. You hear a passing conversation. Sorry, it's just funny. That was my wish, too. However, there is a prophecy. The angel, the one who has seen the surface. They will return, and the underground will go empty. Uh, alright. Where are we now? That's not a path. Huh. It's one of those slag tight slag might combos. Yo! Oh, please tell me I gotta beat up this kid now. I haven't wanted to defeat a monster in a while, but man, do I want to defeat this kid. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're human, right? Haha. <laughs> man, I knew it. Well, I know it now. I mean, Undine told me, uh, stay away from that human. So, like, um... I guess that that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. Uh, yo, say something mean so I can hate you. <laughs> Please? No! Yo, what? So I have to do it? Here goes nothing. Yo, I I hate your guts. Man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm, I'm going to go home now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for going home, kid. Yo, wait. Help. I tripped. You can't just ask people if they're human. <sighs> what are you doing, standing around for? Get over here! Of course I gotta help. Yeah. Yo, dude! If, if you wanna hurt my friend, you're gonna have to get through me first. Oh man, the kid's gonna get stabbed! Oh no, he's not gonna get stabbed. All my hopes and dreams. She's gone. Yo, you really saved my skin. Guess being enemies was just not nice thought though. <laughs> we'll have to be friends instead. Well, darn it. Man, I really should go home. I bet my parents are worried sick about me. Yes, they are. Oh, for the love of God, go home, kid. Later, dude. And Dean does indeed have morals. Let's call Papyrus. There's no response. Well, darn. I was hoping you had something to say about uh, rock formations. Okay. That's a big rock. Oh, and Undine's at the top of it. Seven. Seven human souls, and King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand? For your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as is customary for those who make it this far, 
I shall tell you the tragic tale of our people. Haven't I been reading that? It all started long ago in a mystic land. I, Aku, the master of darkness. No. You know what? Screw it! Why should I tell you that story when you're about to die? Yeah! You know, I appreciate the lack of, uh, massive lack of exposition there. You! You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Alfie's history books made me think human were compassionate. But you? You're just a remorseless criminal. You wander through the caverns, attacking anyone in your path. Self-defense? Please. You didn't kill them because you had to- I haven't killed anybody in the cavern! You killed them because it was easy for you. Because it was fun for you. Do you think it was fun when I found out? Do you think it's fun when people's family members never come home? Is that fun? No! But your time's up, villain. You won't hurt anyone else. The knight in shining armor has appeared, and all the pain you have inflicted upon the fallen. Every hope, every dream you've turned to dust. She's gonna send right back through her spear. Yeah. Why does everyone go yeah on this? I'll show you how determined monsters truly are. Come on, step forward and let's end this. Convenient. The wind is howling. You're filled with determination. I like a good anticlimax. Let's see if that breaks breaks anything. Uh. The aversion of the kid. It's a lamp. All right, no more running away. Let's do this. Here I come. All right, I'm bad. Oh, that's. I'm green now. And green. Why am I green? What does green mean? And Dean attacks. All right, as per usual. Check. 50, 20, heroin who never gives up. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. You won't last a second against me. Oh, what? What the heck? I parry now. Okay, Undine Tower's threatening. Okay, um... I don't feel like pleading's gonna do much. Let's, let's challenge. You tell Undine her attacks are too easy. She doesn't care. When I said face towards danger, I meant face towards the bullets. Undine draws her finger across her neck. You tell Undine her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster. Not bad, then how about this? Undine towers threateningly. I'm gonna keep doing this until something else happens. The bullets get faster. For years, we've dreamt of a happy ending. Big bounces impatient. You tell Undine her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster, and now sunlight is just within our reach. Oh god, I went from being adequate at this to terrible. Undine flips her spear impatiently. You tell Undine her attacks are too easy. The bullets get faster! I won't let you snatch it away from us. Undine points heroically towards the sky. Oh, dang it. I didn't want to check again. Enough warming up. Alright, we're not green anymore. Undine thinks of her friends and pounds the crown with her fists. It's time to use the ice cream. Love yourself. I love you. You've recovered 15 HP. You're tough. This is a tiny room. Undine towers threatening. Challenge! You tell Undine her attacks are too easy. The bullets get unfair. But even you could beat me. I'm green again. Undine Suplex is a huge boulder just because she can. Tell Undine her attacks are too easy. She doesn't care. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Yeah, I probably should pick which ones I'm going to parry when they do that. Draws a finger across her neck. Honestly, killing you now is an act of mercy. Undine points heroically. Undine bounces impatiently. 
So stop being so redempt resilient. Dang, ruining my greenness. Smells like sushi. You eat the astronaut food. You recover 21 HP. What the hell are humans made of? Mostly water. Some meat. Undine towers threateningly. Anyone else would be dead by now. I like the big shovel attack. This is my favorite of her attacks. Oh, I'm green again. Oh, he's told me humans were determined. Oh, sneaky. Gotta watch out for those orange ones. Smells like sushi. One more. But I'm determined too. God, those are hard to dodge. Alright. One more nice cream. Alright, Undine holds her fists in the air, blah blah blah. You tell Undine her attacks are too easy. The bolts get faster. Right now! Nadine bounces impatiently. Right now! Okay. Cinnabon. Eat the cinnamon bunny. Oh! Didn't realize he even had that. Ha ha ha! Smells like sushi. Don't deen her attacks are too easy. Die already, you little brat! I even get a few of these, I'm calling it a victory. Still never get used to that. I'm beginning to think that my uh, my approach might not be the right one. Much as I love the shovel attack. Let's try the other option. Let's try pleading. You told Anine you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. I will not be defeated! I was kind of going for the shonen approach, but I guess this works too. Told Anine you just want to be friends. She remembers someone. Her attacks become a little less extreme. You'll never escape from me! I will admit there are slightly fewer shovels. I have to actually dodge all of the things now. Dean is smashing spears on the ground. You'll never escape from me. I think some of these hitboxes are a lot smaller than I expected. Smashing spears on the ground? I mean, that sounds like she's almost done. You'll never escape from me. Oh, wait a second. She's giving me a hint. I should try and escape now. That's what I should do. That's 100% what I should do. A form of mercy. Oh, I need to, <laughs> I need to leave the screen if I'm going to do that. Stop running away. Maybe I should have tried to hop on that ice cube. I do love the ice cube. Welcome! Come back here, you little punk! No! Welcome to Hotland. I like how the, the sign keeps animating even though we're all stuck in mid-run. Hey, what's up? I'm just thinking. You, me, and Undine should all hang out sometime. I think you would make great pals. Let's meet up at her house later. Noted. Hey, Sans! Oh, of course you're asleep. Oh. I, 
I'm not allowed to move. I wanted to get some water. Armor, so hot. But I can't give up. Green, you can't escape. Uh, challenge repeatedly isn't the solution. <laughs> yeah, someone have to redeem for that. I, my list of things I have to do is so long now. I cannot afford to, uh, to do that kind of thing right now. What's up, Karasi? How you doing? Took you about this long to figure it out, too. I kind of wish I hadn't burned all of my items first. But you know what? I think it was worth it. Take a cup of water. You take a cup of water. Give Undine the water? Of course. She looks very thirsty. That, that's not really how you give people water, but okay. I mean, look, with the water cooler, though, you had to do it. Unless you're going to be an evil bastard. And clearly, I've made it, I made it clear I'm not an evil bastard this run. It may not be perfectly good, but I'm definitely not an evil bastard. Uh, I think during fights, I'm just not going to look at chat. I think that's the only way to play this at this point. Get water? It's a water cooler. Take a cup of water? Yeah. You know who needs a cup of water? Oh, the cup of water returned to the water cooler. How does that even work? Oh, and Sam's not even there. Just a big sardine, put her on a slice of pizza. Uh, and not an evil bastard. Probably the safest, it's true. Bluetooth water. Oh, what's up, guys? Oh, what the heck is this? Okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came from the waterfall to get a drink. That, okay. I, all right. I, I guess I can help this guy out, too. It's a very strange person. Are you just carrying that around to look sophisticated? Because it's not working. <laughs> Fine, fuck off then, man. The water evaporated from the heat. The cup evaporated, too. Uh, seeing such a strange laboratory... Laboratory? What? I'm in a volcano in a place like this. You're filled with determination. This game would be awful with the uh, reset game reward in place. Oh, there's a lab. Um, and we have these guys up here. Da da da. Sorry, Undine like told us there was totally a human in the area, so like us royal guards are blocking off the elevators for now. Yeah, even if the elevators aren't working anyway, we'll do our best, Miss Undine. Let's go down. Oh, chat could backseat by resetting before you kill. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Ra la la. I'm the river man. Or am I the river woman? It doesn't really matter. I love to ride in my boat. Would you care to join me? Not yet. Then perhaps another time. Or perhaps not. It doesn't really matter. Let's go in the lab. Of course. We need... Ah, uh, there's a camera. It's you? It's too dark to see near the walls. Hmm... I'm getting a feeling that I'm gonna get the same message regardless until I find a light switch. Or a bathroom. That is one nerdy looking lizard. I think it's a lizard. Let's go with lizard. Perhaps dinosaur. Oh my god! I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered, I'm barely dressed, it's all messy, and... Um, science dinosaur. She is one nerdy looking lizard, indeed. Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys, or I'm Ask Wars World Scientist. But, uh, I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, been observing your journey through my console. That explains it. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but... Watching someone on the screen really makes you root for them. Unless they're, uh, football teams from Boston. So, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Ascor's Castle, no problem. <clears throat> well, actually, uh, there, there's just a tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named Meditum. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something. Anyway, recently I decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, 
anti-human combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Uh, that lava isn't lava, it's concentrated mice. Oh, lava. BRB need to edit a Wikipedia page. Dinosaurs could have been yellow. I mean, I don't know why not. I mean, some cats are yellow, I guess. Unfortunately, I made a team mistake while doing so, and um, now he's an unstoppable killing machine with a thirst for human blood. <laughs> uh, but, um, hopefully we won't run into him. On the bright side, if I do kill him, he's a robot, so no one cares. I call this foreshadowing. Did you hear something? Oh no. Sorry. Oh no. Oh yes. Welcome, beauties. Here comes the Kool-Aid Man. It is the Kool-Aid Man. To today's quiz show. <laughs> oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Everyone give a big hand to our wonderful contestants. Never played before? Gorgeous? No problem. It's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die! Meditin attacks. I... I... Okay. Check. Meditin. Attack 30. Defense 255, like all game show hosts. His metal body renders him invulnerable to attack. Let's start with an easy one. What's the prize for answering correctly? Mercy. Uh, more questions. Sounds like you get it. Yes, I got it. The quiz show continues. I... Cry. Screaming is against the rules. Here's your terrific prize. What's the king's full name? Uh... Ascor... Ascor Dreamer. What a terrific answer. The quiz show continues. I feel I should pick an answer that just goes faster. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are robots made of? Hopes and dreams. Metal and magic. Oh, he, the lizard is even giving me hints. Too easy for you, huh? The quiz show continues. I, I'm gonna just pick Mercy. I think it'll be faster. Here's another one for you. Oh god, two trains leaving station. Uh, yeah, I guess this is the part where you have to notice that the lizard is helping you cheat. Astounded. I'm astounded, folks. Yeah, I'm gonna go just spare every turn. Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this jar? You're so lucky today. <laughs> the show continues. Let's play memory game. Uh, what monster is this? D? Oh, I see. Oh, God. I would have gotten that wrong. I was actually thinking it was the frog. But can you get this one? Would you spooch a ghost? <laughs> it's counting up. Oh, all of the answers are the same. I guess so. Great answer. I love it. The quiz show continues. Here's a simple one. How many letters are in the name? Meditor. <laughs> Gotta see how far it goes. It's clearly C, I'm not trying to count that. Of course, that was easy for you. The show continues. Time to break off the big guns. In the day simulation, Mew Mew Kissy Cutie, what is Mew Mew's favorite food? Oh, I know this one! It's snail ice cream! It's in the fourth of the country! Everyone goes to the beach and she buys ice cream for all of her friends, but it's snail flavor and she's the only one who wants it! It's the one of my favorite parts of the game because it's actually a very powerful message about friendship! And. Alfies, Alfies, Alfies! Right, I push the button. You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Ooh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. Who does Dr. Alfie's have a crush on? Uh oh come on. Oh, it's stuck at 32. I have to I just have to guess. I'm gonna deal with the human. The human's the answer. Pfft. Right, she's been watching me the whole fucking time. Seriously? My, my, how conceited can you get? I love it! 
And while you were completely wrong, you deserve some credit. I've seen her watch you on her computer screen, smiling when you succeed, shrieking when you fail, and always, always whispering, No, wrong, you have to go that way, in its own way. Is this not love? Well, 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 with Dr. Alfie's helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Oh, I do love a good game show bit. One of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies is, in fact, The Running Man, because the Family Feud guy does such a good game show host, because he is a good game show host. All right, I can catch up now. Was in the super long quiz and killed Z. I never actually played that level. Historical accuracy in a game with bunnies and killer robots. You didn't. It took you the longest time to notice those. It was pretty easy. Muter, yeah. Never counting up. Armored battlefish or yourself, yeah. And now for a commercial break. <laughs> this has had the most ads that in a long time. I'm glad I actually bothered getting that set up. Well, that was certainly something. My initial plan for this was actually just to put the banner ad on the bottom, but then I noticed this was in 4-3. That's the last question. He wasn't supposed to ask that one. You can't go through this door. Anyway, let's check out some things. Lizard feed? It's a half-empty bag of dog food. Wait, wait, wait. But I'm just gonna check out your digs, man. Let me give you my phone number. Then, maybe, if you need help, I could call you. Go figure, no ability to tails means you do ads. That's fair. The quiz QL DLC level had a few different songs, as some might have been. Yeah, I remember watching... Oh, who did I watch play that? Dang it. I forget which judge I watched play that. Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. Wow, phones without texting. What a, what a time ago. Wait a second, please. <laughs> Mom gave you an ancient phone. Couldn't even spring for the second latest model. Here, I upgraded it for you. It can do texting. Items. It's got a keychain. I even signed you up for the Underground's number one social network. Now we're officially friends. <laughs> silent protagonist in a silent. I'm going to use the bathroom. Anyway, I'm going to check out your fridge. Fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. Take a package of noodles? Yes, please. Oh, I can't. It's filled. I can't take more than one. Is it Sonic? It's a beat-up figurine of a female human with cat ears. Boy, was I wrong on that front. Teacup shaped like a yellow lizard. It's full of soda. Computer. It's accessing some kind of puzzle in Snowden. Huh. Seems like the dotes of something. But it's all written in chicken scratch. It seems like a walkthrough to a game, or... It's a computer. It's Mew Mew Kissy Cute. Uh... At the iPhone 69. Were rotary phones ever mobile? Yes! I remember someone actually made a device to hook your rotary phone up to your phone so you could use it for dialing purposes, but I don't know if they ever went anywhere with it. A garbage can, but it's pretty cute. Wait, that's what I want to do. I just went through a long fucking quiz show. I want to save. I am a compulsive saver for a myriad of reasons. Even before I had the reset uh, game reward set up, I was still a comp compulsive saver. Now I'm even more of one. I have to try. Nope. Playing it safe. <laughs> yep, indeedy. Okay, let's try out the right side first. Let's try the upside first. Scientific books. They seem very dusty. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. You look inside a book. It's a comic of a giant robot fighting a beautiful alien princess. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. VHSs and DVDs of various cartoons. They are all labeled human history. All these books are labeled human history. Read one. Look inside a book. It's a comic book. Two scantily clad chefs are flinging energy pancakes at each other. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. I'm pretty sure that's Food Wars. 
All these books are labeled human history. The hideous android is running to school with toast in its mouth. It seems like it's late. This doesn't strike you as very accurate. Pink goop drips from the strange machine. Pink goop drips from the strange machine, too. I'd like this chainsaw. Can I get the chainsaw? Looks like Alfie's work table. Seems dusty. Oh. I'm gonna guess this is uh, Cutie, or Mew Mew Kissy Cutie as well. The wardrobe is full of dirty lab coats and a single clean dress. It's probably a cosplay dress. There are letters from many monsters here. Froggit, Snowy, Doggo. They're all unopened. It's a lamp with pink fish on the lampshade. There's no light bulb. An incredibly incredible invention. When not in use, this bed folds into an extremely easy-to-draw box. <laughs> oh, I wish I could find it again. There was an adventure game where, quite literally, instead of showing you as the, this person grabbing this device, it pops up a little window with the animator saying, Oh, and, and then we do this. How do you draw this? What is this? And then you just get the device in your inventory. It's very surreal. It's a promo poster for Meditons TV premiere. On the flap it says, Thank you for making my dreams come true. Can you true pacifist after this neutral? Um, like I said, my reward play queue is too long to make any promises about anything right now. It's possible. I was updated status. Just realized I didn't watch Undine fight the human. Probably for the best. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll just ask her about it later. For now, I gotta call up the human and guide them. Original lab layout plans. Toby Fox had an actual bed there, but he found it too hard to draw when it came to the game so easy to draw a box. I like that. Mew Mew Kissy Cute is rendered by GGDG. That is not a name I know. I'm gonna go see what happens if I take the river. I feel like if I keep going this way, I'm gonna get a lot of notifications. Um, I guess for context, I usually do Super Mario World stuff. I'm a moderator for SMW Central, so I'm usually I'm playing newer ROM hacks. Ra-la-la, I'm the river man. Or I'm very good at it, we did this. Where we go today? Oh, uh, okay, this is my way of being able to go back a bit. Interesting. Interesting. What do I want to... I, what would I do with this if I wanted to do something with this? The utility of going back to Snowden is pretty limited. Waterfall, I could go bug Undine if I wanted to, but again, that's not really high on my list. Go to the Tem shop, but I don't... Re oh, actually, I'm, I'm stuck. I have to go. Off we go. It's fast travel. The, be the best kind of travel. La la la. Mm. I should have worn, <laughs> worn a few more pairs of pants today. A few more. Oh, okay. Things make so much more sense now. I remember finding this room and being like, oh, this is nice. And having no utility for it. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go bug on Dean and see what happens. I've saved recently. I don't care if she tries to murder me. I asked Undine if we could all hang, but she said something weird. She said she won't hang out with a murderer, but mm, I don't remember murdering anybody. Though I am a pretty brutal kind of guy. And then she said something about wanting to fight some kind of ba bad guy, but she seems very weak from something. She stepped out and collapsed in the doorway, so I'm just waiting here in case she needs me, since she hates being waited on hand and foot. I think we'll have to hang out later. Alright, that was kind of worth it. There was a time when you'd put on a second pair of overpants when you spend more time outside in the evenings. I mean, if it's a cold place, I don't blame anybody for two pairs of pants. Like, snow pants. You put pants on, like, long johns or pants on, and then you put on your snow pants. Like, multiple pairs of pants can make sense. Like, layers is always a smart move, especially when you don't know where you're going to be. <sighs> Didn't want to go to Snowden. All right, we get to see what the dialogue is for Snowden. Okay, fine. I did murder one. I just noticed this. Temi Village, the room before the Darkening Lantern Room. I didn't I didn't realize I could go to Temi Village. I thought I was going to Snowden. Oh, it's telling me that there's the Temi thing there. It's a hint. And there's this room, which I thought was just useful for the 
the phone thing. Anyway, I don't want to go to Snowden. Do I want to go to Snowden? Is there something I want to do? Eh, maybe. You know what? If nothing else, I think I want to buy some healing stuff. Yeah, that's a fair point. That's a fair point. Yeah, I think if I did do another run of this, I would go full pacifist, since I've kind of just been enjoying doing that anyway. Trying to avoid killing anybody. Yeah, I still think... Uh, let's get a couple cinnamon buns. But as I've mentioned, the, uh, the queue is long, and after this, I've got... Uh, what is I, well, I need to go work on my Zelda one hat and stuff. I did a little bit of research on that today. I'm um, planning to do more tomorrow. Uh, that's the top of the list. But it's second quest, so I have to do first quest first. So that's going to be a project. Um, and then after that is one stream worth of... What a Desi request. Let me I make sure I go to the place I want to go first. There we go. And look. All right. See you later, uh, 4G. I want to see what does and how to spare each monster. I mean, it's interesting because it's an actual kind of puzzle. Like, there's still the combat part, which is all the dodging, but it becomes an actual puzzle to figure out what things you need to do to uh, prevent the monsters from, uh, you know, not running away. There's some fights where it's tough to figure out how to spare the opponent, like Undine's, but it's a worthwhile challenge. Yeah, I definitely held out a bit longer than I should have on that one. Mm. But she did tell me at the end what to do. That was kind of nice of her. What was the other game? I just need to pull up the list. The list grows ever longer. Uh, Battle of Olympus. But that's a one stream thing. I think last time I mentioned this, I keep getting that game mixed up with, like, Atlantis, no dot, no something or other. And then Everhood. And then Monkeys. So. Left. Okay. Vulcan. Interesting. Encourage, criticize, hug. Vulcan, 25-0. Mistakenly believes its lava can kill heal people. Speed will help dodge. Alright, what we've learned here is I don't like these things. It smells like a lava lamp. I don't know what a lava lamp smells like. I don't want to hug it. I criticize it. You tell Vulcan that its attacks are not helpful. Uh, not helping? Okay. Vulcan stands in the corner. You tell Vulcan that its rump looks like a sack of trash. Trash, rump, uh... Little streams, oh, dang it. Little streams of lava come from Vulcan's eyes. You tell Vulcan it's doing a great job. Its attacks become more extreme. No! Well, I just saved anyway. I get killed by Potabos here. I'll get killed by Potabos. All right, I guess that was how you do it. The Atlantis no Nazo, thank you. Why stream more Undertale to finish the neutral run? Uh, like I said, if someone requests it, yes. Otherwise, I don't know. We'll go from there. I'm gonna call them in a minute. Oh god, it's one of these puzzles. Like, this is not my primary thing, but it is a nice diversion from what I usually do. Knowing you that you're on screen, Twitch name is, like, black and you can't see it. Booze. Uh, I think I have it set up with um, Frank or Z phase so that people can't do that. And for my own chat client, you don't get to pick your colors. I use a hash for it. Which technically means... I hate using the phone, I don't want to do this memo! Um, that's what that does. Uh, which means someone could actually technically choose their own color if they... <laughs> Darn it! The plane is in the way, oh god. Not on purpose or anything. Oh boy. Seems mean, but does secret does it secretly like you? No way, why would I like you? God no. Oh so silly. 
shakes its nose dismissively at you. Flirt. You tell Sunderplane, uh, Sunderplane that it has an impressive wingspan. Huh? You sicko. Why do I go left? I usually go right on these things. Sunderplane shakes its nose dismissively at you. You get close to Sunderplane, but not too close. Eh? Human. <laughs> what? Oh, green stuff. Oh, I see. Sunderplane accidentally bumps you with its wing. Oh, we gotta go with this. But not too close. <laughs> this is so silly. It smells like an airport perfume counter. <laughs> I like that little fight. That was silly. So silly. Mm. On your screen, it's reddish-orange. On the stream, it's black. Oh, on the stream, it's black. Gotcha. That's weird. Oh, okay, yeah. So what happens is, is that on Twitch, if you don't pick a color, um, in the chat client, it randomly assigns you one. But on the API, I don't get a color. And so I set it to black because I don't have one. So, for instance, my color is set to red. I explicitly set it to red like a million years ago because of a monotone Tim thing. Um, real Toho. Yeah, Gray's physics, exactly. Sunder plus airplane equals Sunder plane. Yeah, I could see true pacifist being fun. I am not going to say no to such a proposition. But I will say it probably won't be anytime soon, just because, again, the list grows ever longer. OMG, I've had to claw over the last digit for the last five minutes. OMG, I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to call. You know what? I'm going to annoy her. Deme I can call these? Wait, what? I can call the boxes? What's the point of having an inventory if I can just call the boxes and get my get more inventory space? It upgraded phone. You're right, it did say items. It did say items. Everything makes a lot more sense now. Guess I should grab those and try to sell them at some point, but whatever. Um left. Ring ring click. Whoever was calling hung up before you answered it. Hydration is key. Okay, I'm gonna guess these. Uh, hi. So, uh, the blue lasers. Uh, I mean, Alfie's here. Hi, the blue lasers won't hurt you if you don't move. Orange ones, uh, you have to be moving. And they, um, they won't, uh, move through those ones. Hi. OMG, I did it! Boss, haven't tripped like this since Undine called me to ask about the weather. I see. And I still feel like this is probably the way to go forward first, so I'm gonna go... Oh, right. If I wanna go back... If I wanna go, I have to go back. I'll try the other uh, edge of this maze. High rope. High rope. 2914. Mischievous monster is never warm enough. Hot enough, hot enough for you? Nerds in hell. Oh god. You, what? Pyro is pretending to pull the fire alarm. Eat up, cool down. Eat up, cool down. Invite! You invite Pyro to hang out. Sorry, I'm all tied up. <laughs> oh, orange, orange. I can go through orange. That's that's the key. Alright, I understand now. Pyro is pretending to pull the fire alarm. Heat up. You crank up the thermostat. High rope begins to get excited. Hot, hot, hotter, hotter! High rope wants more heat. You crank up the thermostat. It's super hot. High rope looks satisfied. Uh, I do love a good HDMA effect. What the heck is the. Oh god, they explode! In onomatopoeias. This room is sweltering. All right, pie rope's done. Bye, pie rope. 45 gold. It was incredibly hard to read. I want that pan. Inexplicably, that is the most important thing for me right now, is acquiring that... Oh, that made that really easy. There's a fry pan lying on the ground. Will you take it? Of course. 
you got the burnt pan. What is the burnt pan? Burnt pan. Weapon attack 10. Damage is rather consistent. Consumable items heal 4 HP more. This is definitely an item for me. Given I'm using attack almost never and using an awful lot of items. I'm really glad I bothered. And I'm not going to take that path again. Put these platforms in every trailer today. If I stop now. Authentic heat base. Uh, guess it didn't pan out the way you expected. Pushing stand of steaming cogs. Fuzzy with determination. 256 whole seconds. Minutes. Soon plane attacks. Not because it's jealous Vulcan is paying attention to you. Oh god, alright. I know how to do Vul Encourage Vulcan. Human. You know, one thing I can say, I really appreciate that the various Vulcan parades around you probably. I can at least get rid of Vulcan. It's not like I like you. Um, each form is a different set of attacks, which I think is actually pretty impressive. Most of the time, when you have different combinations of monsters in a video game, they're just there. They don't actually have any particular rhyme or reason to be there with each other. They just happen to be there. And this changes that dynamic a fair bit, which I approve of. 100 gold? Hmm. That's worth 100 gold. I have 500 gold. If I bought five of those, I could help Tim get to college. Hmm. Oh no, that'd take too long. That's one thing that will happen as the game progresses, is I'll end up in areas with monsters worth more gold. But that was definitely one worth considering. Wait, there's no weather down here. Why did you call me? Shoot. Alright, note to self. Lasers are scary. And I'm not terribly brilliant about lasers. It's a switch. Press it? Yes. Lasers were deactivated. Updated status. Oh my god, I forgot to tell them where to go. <laughs> Cute pic of me right now. It's a photo of a garbage can with several pink glittery filters over it. I would have appreciated the picture popping up there. Alvi's here. The, the northern door will stay locked until you solve the puzzles on the right and left. I, I think you should, should go to the right first. Yep, who might argue with... Who might argue with the Brenny Lizard? Business bull. The way to work is blocked, so I had to catch... I had time to catch Reddit and show on my phone. The special effects were amazing today. That human almost looked real. Mediton? Yeah, he's the most popular star in the underground. His fan club probably has at least two, no, three dozen members. I wonder if it'd be unfun if I explained the puzzle. Yes, yes it would. Alright, we'll, we'll read... Uh, we'll talk to the cool cat over here first. The door leading through this area is closed, so I tried the puzzle. But I kept running out of ammo, so I kept restarting. And my two co-workers won't help. It's like they don't even want to go to work. I don't know if I find that cat all that cool that his head is jumping off, or his neck is jumping on his head. Shoot the opposing ships, move the boxes to complete your mission. Oh, it's so cool, man. But silly. Congratulations! Alright, that wasn't too hard. <sighs> what can you do with nerd lizards? There's no helping them. Maybe she's the iguana that programmed uh, programs Twitch. Oh, he's here. That the blue laser seems totally impassable, but as the royal scientist, I have some tricks up my sleeve. I'll hack into the Hotland Laser database and take it out. Click. 
convenient that uh, the mainframe went down. Oh, that's a skateboard. We were hanging out when suddenly a bunch of puzzles reactivated out of nowhere. This is a huge problem. It rules! They gotta cancel school over this! Finally, someone turned off that laser. Now that we're free, we can, well, uh, I guess we'll just keep standing here. What could you do for a Klondike bar? Good thing Alfie's has some USB shenanigans to help get past unfair BS obstacles. Oh my. Shoot the opposing ship, move the boxes to complete your mission. Okay. The boxes move as one. Which is a problem. I have two shots. So I have to get it to the point where there's only one thing there, and I did it. If you've ever played Heaven and Earth, if you like these puzzles, you should go and get yourself a, uh, a download of the game Heaven and Earth. It's an old PC game, but it has a lot of cool puzzles like that. Not the shooting part, the block moving part. And other things. Not a puzzle guy? Fair enough. I still highly recommend it. Whatever, I'll just explain it. Ring. Uh, hi, I think, uh, hey, about the puzzles on the left and right. They're a bit difficult to explain, but uh, you already solved them. Awesome! Click. Ooh, I'm on dots. I need more dots. Hey, it's kind of dark in there, isn't it? Don't worry. I'll hack into the light system and brighten it up. This was not what I was expecting at all. Oh no. Oh yeah! Welcome, beauties, to the Underground's premiere cooking show! Cooking with a killer robot! <sighs> Preheat your ovens because we've got a very special recipe for you today! We're gonna be making... a cake! My lovely assistant here will gather the ingredients. Everyone give them a big hand! Right, this level up, huh? We need sugar, milk, and eggs! Go for it, sweetheart! Sugar, eggs, milk. Perfect. Great job, beautiful. We've got all the ingredients we need to bake the cake. Milk, sugar, eggs. Oh my, wait a minute. Magnificent moment. How could I forget? We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. I was thinking flour, but okay, that works. Ring. Hello, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. Wait a second. Couldn't you make a... Couldn't you use a... Couldn't you make a substitution in the recipe? A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Why? Uh, what if someone's... Vegan. Vegan? Oh, I mean, that's a brilliant idea, Alfie's. Actually, I happen to have an option right here. MIT brand, always convenient, human soul flavor substitute. A can of which is just over on that counter. That's not suspicious. Yeah, I was gonna say, if someone's vegan, they don't want the eggs or the milk either. Well, darling, why don't you go get it? Look, uh, I'm just gonna do what the killer robot wants, honestly. This might be more challenging. By the way, our show runs on a strict schedule. If you can't get the can in the next one minute, You'll just have to go back to the original plan. So better start climbing, beautiful. Ring. Oh no, there's not enough time to climb up. Fortunately, I might have a plan. When I was upgrading your phone, I added a few features. You can see that huge button that says Jetpack. Just watch this. That's a vague feeling it's about gonna explode. There, you should have just enough fuel to reach the top. Now get up there. Uh, why is time measured in pizzas? I think it's only one. God, what? Oh, I can go on. I, I didn't realize this was, wasn't solid. <laughs> what a silly game. Oh, those are pies! Okay, everything makes sense now. 
trying to dodge. No! You know, this makes me think less cooking show and more Wii, uh, Wii menu. No! Bye bye! It seems you've bested me. Oh, I actually succeeded? But only because you had the help of the brilliant Dr. Elfies. Oh, I loathe to think what would have happened to you without her. Well, toodles. Oh, yes. About the substitution. Haven't you ever seen a cooking show before? I already baked the cake ahead of time, so forget it. <laughs> wow, we did it. We were really did it. Good job out there, team. How was my journey of slaying monsters been? Oh, those were splashes of milk? Throw in the ingredients. So it was like puffs of sugar, eggs, and milk. Uh, I thought it was cotton buds, seeds, and pies. Yeah, I've killed one monster. So far, I've avoided killing others. Well, not a, yeah, you know what I mean. I have, I have successfully completed a battle with combat once. Otherwise, it has been mercy. Or other more bizarre fatality things, like friendships and animalities, I guess. Anyway, let's keep heading forward. I'm gonna check out this studio uh, kitchen here. It's an oven. It looks pretty modern. Oh, come on, I can't even get the quiche. It's a splend specifically regular sized sink. It's a fridge. It's strangely warm. There's no sink over there. Microwave. That's great if you're a microwave fan. Hmm. What's up, Fall Circus? Thank you for the good luck. I did eat some veg uh, vegetoids, and I did not end up killing Undine. Those are all true statements. I gave her some water. She seemed pretty happy about it. Ring. See that building in the distance? That's the core. That's the source of all power for the underground. It converts geothermal energy into magical energy. Bye. Uh, anyway. That's where we're gonna go. In the core is an elevator directly to Ascor's castle. And from there, you can go home. Click. Yeah, those, those vegetables wanted to be eaten. It's just the thing vegetables do. Please select a location. Left 401 sounds good. Hmm. Wait a second. I'm back here. Classic horizontal elevator. It's a walk evader. Goes forward, if, uh, was it upwards and downwards, uh, sideways and slant ways. I was kind of hoping that I'd see the lizard in her natural habitat, but I get the feeling that she's just going to be in the bathroom for the rest of the game. So I am still thinking about it. I could send Tem to Colleague. Like, five fights at 500 GP each is actually pretty reasonable. Like, that's that's not a bad deal. And, like, if I'm gonna do it, right here is the place to do it because I'm really close to the, the ferryman. Or ferry them. Whatever. Fairy thing. Totally not Charon. Um, spared Nasta Block and Med Dummy since they were also boss fights. I mean, I think I think it's perfectly fair to say I've spared all things that aren't, uh, aren't the, the Goat Mom, unfortunately. Crank up the thermostat. Hot, hot, hot. Of course he wants more heat. They look satisfied. You know, I was actually expecting that, 
after the second one, we get the rope again. That's not terrible. I just need to get better at it. 90 gold works. What were the details of the request? Uh, Undertale, and then Kappa modified it to say no genocide ever, which I'm perfectly fine with. I don't think the combat part of this game is nearly as interesting as the not combat part of this game, strangely enough. Like, I actually like the talkie puzzle aspect of it, trying to figure out exactly what you're supposed to do to prevent uh, the monsters from assaulting you. So Zuccotti made the initial request, and uh, Kappa modified it, which I guess is allowed now. Though I'm going to take that on a case-by-case -case basis. For instance, you could say, for instance, uh, in theory you could modify Desi's uh, request for uh, Battle for Olympus. Oh, it's soon playing, okay. To require using a specific controller, but one, I don't have it, and two, I don't know if I'd allow that. But if you haven't been watching Desi struggle in uh, Mario 2 with the, uh, that weird-ass device, it's worth it. U-Force, correct. Almost like it was weighed that way on purpose or something. Yeah, the U-Force, U-Force would be scary to play NES games with. I'm amazed at how well it works. Like, watching Desi play with it, it, it looks absolutely silly, but it works. What's up, Missidia? How you doing? <laughs> like, I was legitimately impressed at how far he got in the NES one. It just, it's imprecision is, is its biggest weakness. Uh, how much do I have now? 650. That is not how I was hoping that would play out. But... Right now we are raising a little bit of money for Tem to go to college, because I feel like this is a reasonable place to grind. No, actually, I probably should go to the next area, because it'll get me back quicker, too. Imprecision, exactly. Oh yeah, it was much closer than I thought it was. Doing well? Excellent! I love the Zoom plane. <laughs> I love this plane. And there we go. So, we need, what, 400 more? Or 300 more, so five individual Zoom plane fights. Or Zoom Dairy plane fights. Um, or, like, three fights if I get the uh, the combo one. So we're close. We're close. The rare and threatening Double Davis. As long as it's not Jim Davis. Two of Jim Davis would not be doubly threatening. This is also a good fight. It gives me 90 and has HDMA effects. As the light bulbs blow up. <laughs> Request for Legend of Zelda first quest be played on GBA NES Classic. Oh. <laughs> Sixth time I've pressed the Windows button. I've been keeping count. I think I've been keeping count. I might have gotten it wrong. I think when you make a request like that and the game is on multiple consoles, I get to pick pick my choice on which console it's on, unless there's a really good reason to. And I can't imagine there's a good reason to play it on GBA that's not like a very speedrunner specific reason. Like it's possible that maybe there's some sort of glitch in the emulator that allows you to play the game faster. I would totally buy that, since it is a weirdo emulator. But, that having been said, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to remember, I remember reading an interesting article about um, the emulator, the GBA NES emulator, and how it executed code out of, like, VRAM or something. It was doing something funky that was breaking emulators. Um, there's a few different things, various games for various systems that just break emulators. And I think my personal favorite example is... Um, what was it? Another, uh, another World? That... Uh, executes code out of the eight, out of the DMA registers. 
which is just a weird thing to do until you know that you can actually run those registers at uh, fast at high, uh, fast run speeds. Dang it. You need four of those, and I only got three. Yep, that's exactly it. Holy cow. You guys are fast. Um, or at least have a, the same sort of knowledge I have, apparently, of things. Yeah, I don't know why they bothered. It's NES games. If someone wanted to pirate those in the GBA era, they'd just download an emulator and go to town. It's not like there weren't, like, decent NES emulators at that point. Like, Nesticle was never great, but it was okay for what it did. So it just surprises me they bothered doing any copy protect any special anti-piracy stuff for that. So what am I doing right now? I'm grinding a little bit of money to uh, to help Tem go to Colleg. Um, Nesticle. Uh, Nesticle was an old emulator. It. Uh, was weird, had a dripping blood hand thing as the icon. Like, it was just a really early emulator for the NES that worked surprisingly well. Um, and the guy who wrote it eventually went on to write an official emulator for the N64. Like, he ported it to the N64 or something. It was just really weird. Uh, and was used in, like, one game, like a version of Punch Out for either the N64, or maybe it was GameCube, um, that had an emulated version of Mike Tyson's Punch Out. And it was just in there. Um, and once people found it, he published the source code saying, why would you want this old shitty emulator I wrote? So just strange things. There's more to the story and a bunch of scene drama, but I'm gonna just, I don't know enough about it to give an accurate summation, unfortunately. Some people, like, stole code for a Super Nintendo version or something, I don't know. Yeah, in response to a leak, exactly. Well, it wasn't so much a leak as so, so much as somebody realized it was there. Um, and so he's like, whatever. I made this a million years ago. You can have it. People were trying to extract it and, like, reverse engineer it and stuff. He's like, no, just don't, don't even bother. Just here it is. No skin off my nose. I imagine the contract for that is long off, and anybody who would sue him is probably long gone or something. Well, I play Deltarune. It's basically Undertale 2. I've heard good things. It would not surprise me if Zuccotti requested Deltarune after this. Like I said, my, my plans for most things, um, outside of like a few random things that I do that aren't SMW, are pretty much based upon the request queue. Ultimately, it would not surprise me if someone requested that. Probably Zuccotti. Um, I want to go to Waterfall. I play Earthbound. <laughs> you have the points, Max. I know you have the points. I'm not even a big fan of Earthbound, to be honest. Like, I think as a game, it's interesting and quirky, but I don't like the battle system enough to want to play it. Somewhere it's Sunday. So be careful. In fact, it's Sunday here. Wait till all the chapters are out. Yeah, I heard third came out just today, and I only saw that because I was poking around on the SMW Central uh, Discord. <laughs> I was also involved in my one of the few times that I uh, point out things for moderation on the Discord. I found a very interesting GIF that I decided to post, and then immediately thereafter someone posted a very cute cat video that ended in a recipe for meth. Which was really strange. I don't mean like a recipe in the sense of, you know, add butter, sugar, and you get meth. It was, here's exactly how you do it. Um, don't think that's something they want on their server for obvious reasons. You would have the points, but you've tails a lot. That's fair. No, the gift I found was really funny. It was a, uh, it was this long ass article about the history of nachos at ballparks. I was surprised at how much I enjoyed that article. Um, and it starts with this guy like bouncing back and forth. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Whoa, that's a lot of muns. And Tem really accepts. Okay, Tem go to college. Make you proud, or colleague.
Which part is Tem? It's the part that left. Tem came back. Tem back from Kuleg. Tem learned many things. Learned to sell new item. Yeah! Okay. So Temmy armor. Makes battles too easy. Yeah, that sounds like it makes battles too easy. I don't want that. Yeah, we'll buy a Tem fleet. Why not? Can't hurt. Anyway, we sent Tem to Kuleg. I feel accomplished. We'll save for sending Tem to Kuleg. Um, in fact, that's what that's why I get distracted. I wanted to start a bit earlier, but yeah, this article actually good. But look at that GIF at the very start of it. It is fucking fantastic. I don't know why they thought this is what we need to do to illustrate our article, but it's amazing. It's so stupid. Determination. Oh. Hasn't come out, you think, but some stuff for Chapter 3 has been officially released. I just thought someone was excited about it. It is! It's a, it's a really good GIF! It's so powerful my computer has decided it really needs to start running its fan. Let's open a lesser tab. Oh, that's why it's doing that. I opened the YouTube tab on accident. Ah, no! There we go. Huh. Oh, and the yeah, mouse came back. That happens. In fact, I should turn that off so it stops doing that, but it'll put the mouse back in the center of the screen. It didn't, okay. All right, so we did successfully send Tem to college. I don't think I won't need the Tem armor. But it was fun. It was a fun thing to do. Really wish opening that hadn't uh, set my computer off. I really need to shut down like a million things on this thing. Opening a new tab takes like three seconds now. <laughs> I have too many things open and end up pushing more things into the potential weird-ass stream ideas uh, to, uh, window, which has like 50 tabs in it now. Uh, Puppet Craft is still on the, the idea, and a bunch of things for like if I did another Adventures in Adver Gaming stream, which, since we've had so many ads, Tem get degree in Tem studies by Tem Armor. It said it'd make battle too easy, so I don't need it. It also costs a lot of money, and I don't need that. <laughs> Learn all about Tem history. It, it's a proud history. I'll consider it, but not right now. I need to get more muns. More money. I'm Heat Flamesman. Or Heat Flamesman. Remember my name? Okay. I will remember that guy as Heat Flamesman. What the hell is that thing? Oh, it's holding a hot dog. I guess that makes more sense. Hey, isn't it weird there's snow on that guy's roof? That's fair. Guess he's just too lazy to clean it off. Toasty bun. That's a hot dog in the volcano. Hey buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30. Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Yeah, dog. Apostrophe dog. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. <laughs> uh, short for hot dog. I got the hot dog. Posted a picture. Dinner with a girlfriend. It's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Oh god. Cool skeleton 95 posted a picture. Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. It's a picture of Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted on his arms. The biceps are also wearing <laughs> sunglasses. You know what? If I saw that in real life, I'd be pretty impressed, honestly. One of the Steam creating cards for this game is Cool Skeleton 95. I'll have to see if that dropped for me. Full Cool Skeleton 95. That's a joke, right? Napsta Block Blook 22 has sent you a friend request. Accept the request? Yes. It seems to have already rejected itself. Aww. There's an apron line on the ground. Will you take it? Yeah, I'll complete the uh, Chef Ensemble. Let's learn about the Stained Apron first. Defense 11. That's pretty good. Heals 1 HP every other turn. That sounds good for me. Way better than my bandana I've still been wearing. I think it was a bandana still. Yeah, I'd never changed up the manly bandana I got like two hours ago.
ring. <laughs> Hi! It's Dr. Office. This puzzle is kind of, um, timing-based. You see those switches over there? You'll have to press all three of them within three seconds. It'll... I'll try to help you with the rhythm. Click. Oh! <laughs> I'll press the third one. Thanks! Hey, looks like you only needed to press two of them. Click. Every turn you eat the stains off the apron. Is that how that works? It makes... Oh god, another gigantic puzzle. That's the last time I try to help with a puzzle, Lamo. Uh, hey. I'm going to the bathroom, so I'll be MIA for a while. I'm sure you can handle this puzzle by yourself. Click. Ah, I see. It's stateful. That's not the way. Hmm. Oh, it flips every switch. Oh, okay. Nope, yep, that's wrong too. Okay, I need it to be in the upward facing direction. When I come to here. Which it is now. No, I need it in the other direction. That's what a lot of people struggle with. I know it's a modular thing. It's too independent. If I jump up there, it'll flick the wrong way. So this is the answer. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Most iconic part of Undertale? Time to get stuck for an hour. I'm glad that didn't happen, but I also... You know, I'm a programmer. I understand how modular things work. OMG, people think Mew Mew 2 is better than Mew Mew 1? Lol, that's a joke, right? I'm kind of wondering if the inspiration for that one was uh, Tokyo Mew Mew, which was a relatively popular magical girl anime in 2004. Knowing the mouse, wait, one... <laughs> Might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. It fills you with determination. There's a piece of cheese inside this computerized laser safe. The lasers have melted the edges of the cheese. It's stuck to the table. Everything's stuck to the table. Don't they get it? Don't they get it ruins Mew Mew's entire character arc? My Mew Mew 2 review. Mew Mew Kissy Cutie 2 is neither kissy nor cutie. It's trash. Zero stars. As an anime expert who's watched over 3,000 animes. Hey, you. Stop. We've, like, received an anonymous tip about a human wearing a striped shirt. They told us you were wandering around the hotland right now. I know, sounds scary, huh? Well, just stay chill. We'll bring you someplace safe, okay? <laughs> Wait. Huh? What is it, bro? The shirt they're wearing... Like, what about it? Bro, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Bummer. This is, like, mega embarrassing. We, like, actually totally have to kill you and stuff. Royal Guard attacks. Let's check him out. RG1, 3020. Royal Guard member with shining polished armor. Like, team attack! Team attack. I read that wrong. Stands guard, okay. Real good member with stuffy armor. They don't seem so enthused about killing me, which is nice. I like it when people aren't enthused about killing me. Watches your movements, okay. You clean RG's armor. Its cooling dirt begins to wash away. Ah. Like, you're all dead and all. I want the, the green thing. Watches your movements. You clean the armor. Its cooling dirt begins to wash away. 
Getting warmer. Like, prepare to die. Oh, I see. Can't take it. Armor, too hot. <laughs> Much better. Looks bothered by something. Hmm. You pat <laughs> Royal Guard 2's chest like a muscular bongo. Hello. Alright, well, lefty's shots are definitely going wide now. Sweat pours from R2's armor. You tell R2 your favorite secret. I won't tell. I definitely chose something right to do. R1 is polishing his face. Whisper. You tell R2 to be honest with his feelings. I sigh. <laughs> oh. Dude, I can't. I can't take this anymore. Not like this. Like, O2, I like. I like. I like you, bro. The way you fight. The way you talk. I love doing team decks with you. I love standing here with you, bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. O2, I like. want to stay like this forever. Many dots later. Uh, I mean, uh, psych, gotcha, bro. Oh, one. Yeah, bro? Do you want to get some ice cream after this? Sure, dude. <laughs> they are looking at each other happily. Aww. You won! Got 100 gold. <laughs> Gay panic at its finest. <laughs> Just kidding, bro. Oh, sorry, I was, what, uh, no homo would be the line, I believe. But no, it sounds like they, they're, they're cool with each other. Yes, homo. 